Welcome to volume two of Heroes and Halfwits. We made it. The deuce. Yeah. Hey, you're dead. Why are you here? Fuck Shashamu. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he he is say dead. Fuck Shashamu. Yeah, you didn't even say was, the right uh, name. Yeah, he didn't definitely didn't say he was Yak. Yak Shashamu. Yeah. As as I'm his cousin, Fuck Shashamu. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll be quiet. Sorry. Can you? <laughs> So, uh. Um, oh, has got four arms now. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have, oh, they fuck. call her Forma. That's awesome. I don't know if we can. I really should be quiet. That's a funny joke. I'm so right. I got distracted. Oh, no, no, no it wasn't you. He's getting mad at Jeff, not you. Yeah, there. Okay. You guys yeah. can. She's, uh, I mean, she'll probably. I need to do a few more shadows and stuff, but pretty much ready. That She's, like, combined from, like, three different figures. Uh, oh, and we finally have a little. Sprite. So tell us about volume two, Frank. Frank. All right. Have a sprite so uh, for those of you who this is your first time watching, good because you don't need to know what happened before. Uh, <laughs> it's still it, go back and watch the episodes. They're great. Or don't. You know, <laughs> shit it's, went down. Shit went down. This is and, a, a, uh, a new starting point. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so y- we we come upon the these band of adventurers, four adventurers, and um, the sprite here represents a familiar that's traveling with. Uh, our roguish character here. Oh, um, rogue. rogue. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, I need an update on my character oh, too. My I guess. Word. So or maybe yeah, I just well, like to dress you guys like that. Introduce yourselves and say what you do. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that we were changing the direction. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, um, hi, I'm um, oh, it, uh, I'm Ogar Jones, and I'm uh, I'm still a paladin, but I've become hardened over the years, and also <laughs> now I only have one uh, one working eye because I was lost in a. A uh, very dramatic battle. Is that so you going with the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I patched it. It's just so hard. <laughs> it knocked yeah. his eye out. Yeah, listen, that's you. It was. You should have seen the ghost. Oh though. my god! Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to relive it yet. I'm not. I'm not ready yet. But uh, astonishingly, doesn't affect my depth perception in any way. What level? What Ooh. level paladin are you? Uh, I'm a, uh, uh, if I feel like if I had to put a level to my a to number, my skill, <laughs> you had to quantify it's it. It's an odd thing to ask of a, of a noble <laughs> warrior. Um, I would guess twelve. Oh wow, well, a time has passed. Yeah. So you're a tw- you're a wizened twelfth grade paladin. You're a wizened, um, but I'm a little more jaded than one eyed paladin I used to be. I've seen some shit over the years. Some some you know uh, transgressions have occurred. We've had some. Some real fuckers in our party, and they <laughs> changed my outlook on the, on how I how I see the world. So, but is it your left eye? That's my left eye. Were you right eye dominant to begin with? Yes, okay. thankfully. Nope. Thankfully, Phew. it was. Yikes. Yeah. yeah, we're good. All right. Um, <clears throat> who wants to go next? Uh, I, I'm I'm still Albus uh, Cumberbatch. I had an unfortunate sleep spell, uh, and when I woke up, I was a rogue instead of a warlock. Happens, you yeah, know. Sometimes, uh, yeah. Had, uh, I, uh, I'm a, little, I'm a lot smarter now. I'm way smart, <laughs> like way smart. <laughs> One of the smartest ever. Uh, super alert. I'm always gonna be watching. Cause uh, you know, last time Rabbin. we weren't, we weren't on our guard, <laughs> and uh, it didn't pay off. So now I've, I'm, t- I've really, I'm, I'm always on the guard for that sort like of our thing. Own party? I'm gonna like a hawk. Okay. Everything. I still have this though because I'm an arcane trickster, and I use right. one of I have to. Sure. <coughs> so that's also, you. isn't it your brain too? Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for those who don't know, an arcane trickster is a type of rogue. Like rogues are normally thieves, um, but arcane tricksters are a variation that um, they're rogues that learn how to use magic to supplement their magic. thievery. So you, and so you were kind of a rogue the entire time. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like on the inside, a little bit. My it's true self is, is, is yeah. it's my true colors. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm Phil right, Collins. Like You're yeah. coming into your own. Yeah. Oh uh, God, did you touch the DM's book? He let me look at something. Oh, I, I had to pick something. Oh, we're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I've got too many character sheets now. How many characters? That's you the best part of this process. I think I've got four. New characters. It's so clean. Sheet. Yeah, it's nice. Clean. Yeah. Except for the parts the right that, place. that I've already erased. Oh, it place. happened immediately. I started yeah. writing down wrong things and erasing it. It pissed yeah. me off. At one point, I wrote uh, a D by accident, and I wanted to write a B, and then so I tried to save it by writing a line for the D and making it a B, and it didn't look good, so I had to erase it. Yeah. Now, so Bo- you're Borealis, though. Um, yeah, I'm Borealis, the uh, the dwarven cleric. What? 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 Somewhat. Different than before. I don't know. Still looking to uphold the power of a higher deity, but 
a lot more willing to break rules now. Oh. So it's okay if we call him a dwarf now? Oh. Try it. Right, did you just say, <laughs> uh, how do you, how do you, you feel em- about other races? Did you embrace your smallness? Oh, uh, other, other races are fine, uh, as long as they don't make mistakes. Oh. So this is sure. a new development then? How did that happen? Lots happened. I, I don't really think it's that new. I mean, I, I did some adventuring before, but it's all the same. Okay. Except you're a cleric, not a paladin. It's, a, it's pretty much the and same a dwarf. thing. And a dwarf. Yeah, but he's no longer human. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty much the same thing. <laughs> I mean, it's like new Coke. We were all thinking it before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's the same, but it's better. Much the same. Do you hear the taste? I of like something not yeah. good. Basically, yeah. the racism was just his rejection of his own dwarvish nature. That could have been it. You're like it a Jewish be, Nazi. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh man, yeah. Real conundrum there. Yeah. What do you, What do you do? Yeah. You 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 embrace it. Yeah. All right. Really. Hmm. Wow. So how tall are you now? Uh, are you, I, I, that's the one thing I forgot to figure out. I'm going to figure that out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was trying to vamp install a little bit, so I'll get there. I can't All wait right. till he's taller. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's a big ass dwarf. He'd be 5'3. <laughs> <laughs> I might conceivably be taller as a dwarf. We'll, we'll see. And Orma? Um, Orma is staying the course for, you know, the kind of person she is, but uh, she's like, I say she, but I guess I should say. Me, I. Uh, sure. I've just put a lot, I've put some work into getting faster and more alert, you know, like, mm-hmm. I don't know if you'd have to call it something, I guess my dexterity has improved, and uh, I'm learning some new things, like how to, like, knock people off their feet. And uh, sobriety, learning sobriety. Oh, right, I forgot to <laughs> mention. Uh, th- I've come to terms with the fact that I might have a problem. I've been working mm. on that over the years. hmm what stage keep, are you on? Trying, trying to keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will say now that I'm fluent in Orin. Ooh. Yeah. Cork and I are a little trade working wow. fluent now. So if you need anything translated in bird tongue. Wow. So are, you yeah. still, are you still four arms? Let's, oh, yeah. Let's. Yeah. And they all look amazing. Still with pork. <laughs> yeah. So, so Orma is a uh, half-orc barbarian. So she's green skin. Green hair, too, right? So she's half gray, orc, I would say what? more of a gray-green skin. Oh, okay. Gray What's green? the other half? Uh, human. A human. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But um, but I feel like through a, a half orc. Right. Yeah. Half half human. Half yeah. orc. Because all barbarian. Yeah. All all smash. Yeah. Um, and then oh, through sure. a magical ritual, she gained two additional arms with which she fights. You can people. literally, and you didn't really have much time to implement oh. this, but you can hold someone up and beat the shit out of them at the same time. That's a really you good give problem. two noogies yeah. Yeah. simultaneously. <laughs> That's awesome. Hold um, one. Four three. Four, four three. Well, four, how tall were you before? Like know. five three. You were five two. But he gets tinier and tinier. He's gonna be a. Well, it makes sense now though. Four three is a, a big dwarf. He's yeah. gonna be a halfling so next time. Whatever you four three roll for a dwarf, five two for multiply human. by whatever. You oh. want. Oh. And then add it to your base weight. Oh, I will say that. Uh, and Arma, oh, uh, I as well have. <laughs> in general, my instincts are just sharp as ever. Oh sure. All right. Yeah yeah. I feel like we both tacked on a little more. How's the muscle? Oh yeah. I also put on twenty pounds. Yeah yeah. A muscle. Have you got the two extra arms? Do you have like a second oh, yeah. mall now to write your stories? I guess you don't need it. You remember things now. Well, now that you quit <laughs> drinking. Yeah. yeah. I so I'm never gonna. This mall I've decided uh, I'm gonna hold on to because it has a lot of meaning to me. Uh-huh. You know, with my background as a mason, and tool the, my tools like with are my connection to my past, which is why I think I haven't changed as much as some of y'all. Mm. I'm connected to my past. I know who I am. <laughs> yeah. Occasionally uh, when I'm a sober. How's, how's the preparations <laughs> going? <laughs> Right on. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, and I, I don't think we mentioned this. So for the audience, uh, Mogar is a dragonborn. Oh, sorry. So yes, that is correct. I'm a, he's a, I'm a dragon man. Um, I am. A, explain it to me. I'm off white in color, and I believe it's been established. I don't have a tail. I can. That's uh, right. Crew so or? talk about it. A so lot. in yeah. summary, our adventurous group is uh, dragonborn, uh, male paladin with one eye. Correct. Uh, hardened paladin. Hardened. Please. Uh, dark knight uh, territory. Yeah. Half orc, <laughs> uh, barbarian, Love alcoholic. Recovering alcoholic. Recovering alcoholic. <laughs> Ooh, don't fall uh, off the wagon. For some reason, a dwarven cleric. <laughs> now. For some reason. Yeah. Whatever the reason is. Dude, hey, I'm I'm all and, for it. Uh, 
no longer a warlock. Now you're a human arcane trickster. I'm, I'm a, I'm a half elf. Half elf. Uh, Is that what you were? Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. Always whole the time. whole time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Not the good half. <clears throat> you wouldn't know. You weren't here. Whoever you are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just. I'm a uh, stranger. I'm the audience. I'm oh. an observer. Uh, yeah. No. It's. Uh, you were I, here. You I, just, known. I don't know. I just woke up a rogue. Oh yeah. Felt felt yeah. good. You were really demonstrating some roguelike behaviors before. You could see it. Uh, there was like a when you stole or, everything yeah, all friends. the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> There's I a lot of many things. things. A lot. <laughs> Boy, was it hard to fence that, that shit, never, by the way. People oh, never man. acknowledge the effort. They only notice when you fuck up. Let me tell you, it took so long to sell that gym that people keep uh, attacking you if you own. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Boy. If you uh, possess, you mean? <laughs> I don't know you owned it. Uh, possession's nine tenths of the law. You got it. And now you're yeah. talking about the law? Uh, I mean, you got to know the law if you're going to break it. <laughs> <laughs> I know no, your loophole. How do you feel? How do you feel working with a criminal? You know, I'm. Uh, He's hardened. I'm He's... more okay with it because yeah. listen, don't hey. don't fuck the party. Don't like be murdering people. I don't really care. You know who never turned on the party? This guy. It's true. <laughs> well, I mean, eh, you didn't turn on us. You kind of got us in some hot water, but I'm willing to look past that. You you, know, we got nice stuff because made, of that. We, she got a whore. You know, we, we made it out. On the party. We made it out. This guy. Yeah. That was sexy. But that's not why so, he did it. Turned you on. <laughs> um, oh. uh, no one got that. That's how out of the realm of <laughs> yeah, possibility it, it was. <laughs> plus, <laughs> yeah. plus, you didn't turn anyone on. No one no. banged you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I kissed a uh, uh, sea hag. <laughs> you did do that. <laughs> did. You did do that. That's true. Let's <laughs> really hold on to that, 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 that moment. There. <laughs> <laughs> so for the uh, for the new audience members, um, Jeff here played a tiefling bard named Bo Jingles, who everyone the, hated. Yeah, from the, the pretty much the get go, everyone loved most popular. Um, and, and, yeah, and, and he referred to himself as the world famous Bo Jingles, um, along with many other things. Who isn't here anymore? People. Yes, he he's no longer with us. Um, Spoiler. Don, don, don. Well, no, he, he got a nice timeshare in Boca. It's going to happen. Mm. He's, he, Bo Jingles went to the nicest farm <laughs> Upstate in somewhere. all of Jackalheart. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so much room. He's running around yeah. out there yeah. with all the time. other Chasing the chickens. All the other and, yeah. things. He's just playing his Merlin <laughs> from sun up to sundown. Just forever. And he's perfectly safe and well fed. He's and very happy and yeller. comfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all yeah. anyone needs to know. Mm -hmm. there you go. He and you can't go visit him because it's really far away. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's got a very busy <laughs> schedule. <laughs> it's a very like uh, Lord of the Rings thing. Yeah. Once you get on the boat, you can't come mm -hmm. back. Yeah. No one else can get on. Yep. So, take it away. Whatever Lord now, of the Rings is. Um, and, you, and you guys are now about um, early to mid 30s. At this well, age-wise, not all of us. Wise. I don't remember uh, how old I was. I'm, well, I'm a bit. Well, no, no, you're right. I mean, I'm mid thirties. Right. Yeah, the specific years, but you know, that falls on a certain. I'm I'm middle aged now. Right. I'm halfway Dragon through Wars. my lifespan. Yeah. I'm having some. What are you doing with your life? <sighs> Fuck if I know. I'm still <laughs> hanging out with you, jabronis. <laughs> Losing eyeballs, apparently. So, yeah. Because you're off white. Oh right. So does that my mean that you're like infinite. actually off white in color, or are you just dirty, <laughs> like a dirty white? I'm not sure. Just. If we like cleaned if, you, would yeah, you be a brilliant way to be? Would you be like pearlescent? <laughs> I'd be like shiny. Are you Shit, an albino? Maybe. I could be. Are your eyes pink? <laughs> no, they're blue. Um, you, you have been pearlescent before when you were almost uh, digested by that gelatinous cube. Oh, really clean, yeah. but I wasn't. You need to do like an acid wash. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I okay, was. Yeah. You look like that albino crocodile at the uh, New Orleans Zoo. Is it radioactive? It's a cousin of mine, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are having conversations about. Possibly bathing Mogar and maybe even bathing yourselves because you've been traveling for a while um, through the plains of hell. So um, over the course of your adventuring of career, you've you've encountered many strange beings and um, gone to many exotic locales, um, but none more unpleasant than the uh, layers of hell, um, where you were you went on many adventures, fought many horrible devils. And have eventually found your way through a portal back to uh, a non-hell realm known as the Concordant Domains of the Outlands. So, you emerge through this portal, somewhat dirtied and bloodied, but... Off-white. Uh, Off-white, but um, stronger for your, your ordeals and experiences. And as you step out of this magical portal here, you find yourselves in a town that you're familiar with. The town of Ribcage. Oh, that's... Oh. Nice. Known uh, as Ribcage because uh, in ancient times a land titan died here <coughs> and its rib bones rise 100 feet out of the ground. 
and form the main boulevard of this town that has formed up uh, around it. The portal stands at the top where its neck would have been, uh, and the two rib bones actually come out, and between it stretches this magical gate, which leads to hell. So Ribcage is a border town. Um, it itself is not necessarily ruled by the devils. Um, it's ruled mainly by humans and some half-orcs and elves, uh, and uh, they manage to keep a sort of um, buffer between the rest of the domains and the devils themselves here. Um, so there's kind of an uneasy truce here between Hell and the, uh, the uh, Outlands. So you step out and you see buildings down this boulevard on either side. Um, and you, uh, one of the buildings you recognize as Maggie's Hotel, where you had stayed before many, many years ago. <laughs> first time you came to Ribcage. And you make your way over there. Um, and How many years ago? It's been, it's been almost 15 years now. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow, this place still looks like shit. Do uh, <laughs> you think they would have redeveloped? Still here, something. though. Yeah. We must have done all right. I, wanna, yeah, I, wanna, so. for, I forgot to mention um, when we were talking about everything that happened over the years. Uh, mm-hmm. While in hell, Ormond picked up a nipple ring. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, yeah, and something yeah. that I was just reading in the player's handbook yeah. that uh, I had forgotten about is that uh, half orcs, they all orcs, their skin scars. The show scars really well, and uh, they base their pride levels in their on whether or not it was a battle scar versus like an enslavement or like scar where they they picked it up from being from losing. So uh, it was painful, and I'm proud of it. And she goes topless now. Wow! Just just walking around. Oh, it has nothing right. to do with the fact that the figure so is topless. Is, sure. Is, is her <laughs> nipple ring a scar? <clears throat> well, it was uh, pain, she was painfully earned. Mm. I think it counts. Okay. And I, th- I do, I, we, I have never had my nipples pierced, but I do think they can accumulate scar tissue. Okay. Makes sense. Did she, like, self-pierce it with the broken-off bit of horn or something? It was, uh, I, I would consider it like a battle trophy. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, she was like, ah, I kicked your ass, now I'm going to put part of you through my nipple. Yeah, it's a, ba- it's it, a battle trophy is from it hell. a dragon bone piercing? A dragon bone piercing? That would really make it droop. <laughs> you have to think about because I only have one. I don't yeah. want it to be off center. I'm really glad Bo Jingles isn't here for like the new orm. He would have lost it was, his. Sh- <laughs> it would have been uncomfortable. I've also put all the time with the staring and the drooling. That's the hand she was in the pants. Oh my god! And the tiny, tiny little tent he would pin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. His pants always kept falling down. That's weird. It's like it's oh, I fell down by accident. Yeah. And then he'd run around. Yeah. Sometimes he'd start peeing. There's yeah. <laughs> Like a Benny Hill scene. Yeah, it was really, really weird. (laughs) So, as you continue... So ill of the dead. (laughs) (laughs) Seriously, though, here's Um, a piece of shit. (laughs) Uh, Remember remember that day he turned uh, There are these things called bone devils. They're like devils made out of bone. Um, They're very ferocious fighters. And so maybe you you defeated one and collected one of its bone shards. Oh, shit. That could be... Yeah, just as a, yeah, as a warning to all yeah. future bone devils. There you go. Yeah. You this is be, what I do that, you, could get, you, you could be the next nipple. Bam Bam? <laughs> yeah. You, see like, you want to be the right one? Watch out. That's a great, yeah, you have, that's why you only have one nipple period. Yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. No one else will cross you. <laughs> <laughs> I also, so, also, I'm still wearing the gem mugger it gave me. Oh, oh right on. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, that was after my After all these up. years. Okay. Yeah, after all these years. Um... So one thing, so you guys also realize that uh, the last time that you left, there had been this threat that the mayor was going to build a wall around. I remember this portal, that? Mm-hmm. That takes and me thereby, back. yeah, and thereby violate a uh, a sacred oath that had kept this town neutral and free from devil influence. Um, and building the wall would have broken that. Um, but yeah, when you step out, you notice that there is no wall. So, just something to uh, guess they didn't get the money. Ah, uh, well, I mean, we, we, we stabbed the guy pretty good. We did, but, it, yeah. it's, you know, there's underlings. We don't, we, Maybe you know, we, retired. Didn't, we didn't really stick around for the, like, the, the rebuilding of, uh, of Rip really Cage. Didn't. So, uh, you know, it was kind of up in the air what was going to happen after we pieced out. We probably should have, last, right? Last I recall, uh, many, many moons ago, there was, a, there was a, an amazing, um, daring attempt uh, to sneak under a stage. Yeah. <laughs> Hands were held. I have I have uh, flight flashes of the I was moment. there. It was nice. I remember someone being invisible after they were discovered? <laughs> ah, it was, it was a weird panic yeah. invisibility. There he is. Yeah. Quick turn invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chums, it's been a while. Man. What's uh how's how's she looking? 
All of it's still here, ribcage? Yeah, uh, better or worse? It's still here. And actually, um, so it looks slightly better. Mm, like, hey. some of the buildings the look like they've had some sort of um, reconstruction done on them it's, since you've been here. The uh, property brothers have been through. Maybe a little oh, more human, good. a little less demon. There you go. There, there are definitely more um, humans than you oh. saw last time. Yeah, because last time you came, there were still some devils walking around and... Of course, you fought a, a, a bunch of devil bodyguards. Yeah, Naturally. Um, you don't really see any right now. So, I wonder if we yeah. can go find Bojangles' mom. Oh God! I mean, did we ever know that there was uh, accusations? Uh, uh, I well, feel I mean, like it's a little heavily uh, implied. I feel like it, <laughs> but it uh, wasn't by Bojangles. Bojangles. Yeah, at that point, though. Yeah. Hey, uh, we're here. We should we should probably go see him, right? See who? <laughs> No. Hey. <laughs> I mean, we got to find out what happened. It's been he's, a few he's years. Dead, yeah, right? he's probably. I mean, dead. he no died way. the got, day we gave him yeah. the money. By I, we, I been, mean, all of you. <laughs> I didn't give him I did, I've got I more money to, to give him. Yeah, no shit. No, my long lost son. I'm a I'm a dwarf now. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> I was wrong, by the way. I'm four seven, not four three. Oh, hey. you are yeah. almost as tall as you were. Yeah. Damn, you're big. You're a big ass dwarf. Big dwarf. So you guys are referring to um, Akshay, a companion. Hey, hey. that, that um, Borealis loved for some reason. <laughs> a lot. All right. yeah. Gus doesn't know why. I have so, no. <laughs> let's, so, let's. Who wants to ante up? Where's what is Akshay now? I'm going with Mayor. I'm going with he's dead. I'm he dead. Died of alcohol poisoning. Yeah. Or like he got Super into dead. it. He pissed somebody off and they stabbed him. I mean, you, I, you can't give a delinquent drunk that much money and expect <laughs> nothing to happen. That's crazy. I'm gonna lay a hundred gold pieces. He's gone up in the world and not no, down. I agree. I think he's dead. A hundred. Hundred. All right. So far, sure. We're betting we out of the fucking portal. You went in on this. Action? I think he's alive, but his money's gone. This so is you why I'm now chaotic. He's destitute. Good. He's back to where we left. Okay. Him. Handling. Yeah. You want to? He was pretty good at that. You in at the hundred? Hundred? Fine, sure. <clears throat> Hundred? What, what a rogue move. Like, he, he mismanaged his money to that point when we met him. There's no way he's gotten good at managing no. his money. You, you don't magically get smarter when someone gives you a boatload of cash. I'm telling you, I bet he, I think he hit rock bottom. He went up. Look was at his rock charm. bottom when we found Look him. Look at his charm, man. He, hey, <laughs> Look he, at hey, his that's, charm. You put that on a banner? Mayor. He was like that already, and he was a deadbeat bum when we found him. I'm telling you. I had to physically He's carry him up. through the desert. <laughs> <laughs> I put him on my back. As he was going, hey. Money where your mouth is. <laughs> all right, all right. I throw in 100. Uh, Fine. Yep. 100? Wow. 100? Okay. Uh, living on the oh. street. Dead. Dead. I'm trying to figure out if I should pony in on this or not. This is just a good natured bet. It's not like we're not. You've you got know, the I'm, money. I'm, I'm we've you've got with the money. Cash yeah. After no. our many adventures. No betting for me. All right. This is, this is good nature. This is not the have fun. Friends. Have fun. All right. He just doesn't generous. have a good nature. And so. a hearty handshake. <laughs> just a hearty handshake from Borealis. Can you get the hearty handshake? Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> hearty handshake? Hearty handshake. Nah. 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 High five? No. Nah. Years have not been kind. Have fun. Right. Right. Have fun. So, so, right. hundred, hundred. Okay. So the the the, on the, street, the party the party here is referring to just to clarify an old man that they saved from being sacrificed. Not to, all of us devils. saved him. Some of us well, were dead. Some yeah. Some people, so, Borealis, gave them every fucking single thing they had for He some was reason. very charismatic. Like a long lost <laughs> son. So they, they saved all this of old man who was, who was a, a self-confessed drunkard and uh, I forgot he, how old he was a was. beggar that on the streets of, a, of a city that they were traveling through. Um, he was saved from de devil sacrifice and then was accidentally, along with the party, transported to this town in another dimension where uh, he continued to drink and carouse <laughs> And when the party realized they had to leave him behind in order to continue on with their mission, uh, they they bequeathed him with a lot of precious art. fortunes, and, untold fortunes. For I no tried reason. to just give him uh, knowledge. That's right. And Albus did try to just failed. Yeah, try to, try I tried to convince change him to words. yeah, too much like Orma, like take on the path of sobriety and turn his life around, but didn't really seem to. Take hold at the time. No, I did not. Um, I said, well, because so, yeah. you do it's, have to hit rock bottom to make a full recovery. That's. And I don't think he considered where he was oh. rock bottom. <laughs> he was loving it. He was, he was being <laughs> he was sacrificed on the table. You know you're in a bad place when <laughs> Albus is trying to bestow knowledge on yeah. you. <laughs> He's like, listen, man, you got to better yourself. He's like, nah, <laughs> I, can, I can still get lower. I can still get lower. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, well. Like, I look at you and I just think, I haven't gone all the way down. <laughs> when Albus was giving that, that inspirational speech, I mean, you guys looked over and. 
uh, Akshay was motorboating some wench. So, <laughs> like, it didn't really Look, seem compared to, to that, I can see how it would fail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah he had already hit bottom. The, he got off the demon sacrifice table. That was bottom. So he got, and now he was he hit <laughs> way up. Bottom of the cleavage. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are, are continuing to walk down the main boulevard of Ribcage here, and um, you come to the front of Maggie's Hotel, which is this, um, it's one of the larger buildings in the town. It's uh, almost five stories tall, and it has balconies running along the front for some of the nicer suites, which you're very familiar with one of those Question. balconies. Is there yeah, still yeah like that's a why I crushed my, uh, yeah. my, uh, I was gonna say, is there like a, a, a mastiff shape? Indention in the nah, ground. He where was, uh, no, 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 he was like after you landed on him. Yeah, yeah. You know? he was very corporeal up to nah, that. He wasn't. He wasn't. He was. Then he wasn't. Then, yeah, <laughs> that's that. Is, you never so, made another one of those. I got Celestial. him. I just didn't call him back. The, the, the and this he's, he's mad at. He's afraid he's mad at him. This is one of the buildings that. So for 15 <laughs> years you've been avoiding talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't know>, I, mean, <laughs> I talked to him just without summoning him. Right. Oh, you know okay. What I mean? Just like listen. So far the reports aren't good. <laughs> Still mad, huh? We're working on it. It's like when you've had that awkward thing with your best friend, so you just talk on the phone, maybe, but you don't ever really hang out anymore. Kind of. You I'm waiting for it to kind of just keep, like roll over. Need some yeah. counseling. Yeah. We'll be fine. I'll call yeah, him back. Hopefully. It'll be good. He'll. I'll give him some dog food or something. Right. <laughs> I'll go yeah. nuts. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't need to eat, but. But he. It's nice. <laughs> it's, you know. It is, I bet nice he, he appreciates the offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can throw the ball. So <laughs> the incorporeal ball, you yeah. Can yeah. Run after. So, uh, so this is one of the buildings that actually has looks like it's undergone some reconstruction, and it looks much nicer than it did before. Um, look, but look, it's the house that Akshay built. And uh, <laughs> and next to it is another building that you don't remember. It appears to be uh, kind of fairly well newer than um, some of the other buildings here. A uh, gallery of some sort. So there are people coming in and out of both buildings. There's horses tied up in front uh, on hitching posts. And um, and yeah, so the, you walk into the entrance of Maggie's Hotel. And you enter the foyer, which uh, is still very richly appointed. Somewhat, uh, looks like it's been enlarged somewhat, so there's a little bit more space than you remember in here. Um, there's various beings, humans, elves, some half-works as well, um, congregating inside. Sitting at, at couches, talking to one another, drinking, um, and just hanging out. And there's a, um, a line, uh, a desk, where you check in for the hotel. Um, so, uh, Oh, and also, before I forget, you hear the hubbub coming from the cantina. Which is, when you go into the lobby initially, there's hallways off to the left and right. And from the right side, you remember that if you go down the short hallway, there's a cantina in there. And that's where... Uh, Akshay spent most of his time carousing, and you guys could see like there were dance, there were dancers in there as well. Um, that's where you could hire ladies of the night um, for your personal entertainment. And uh, are there also men of the night? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's men of the night as well. Men, men and nice. ladies of the night. Uh, a quick uh, aside question armor. here: mm -hmm. Is this the first time we've returned to Ribcage <laughs> since? Yeah. yeah, since okay, you've been here. So this is yeah. the first time we've been back. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Who's uh, who's running the desk? Uh, there's a, um, a woman there, and she- Do we recognize her from last time? No, no, it's a different lady, yeah. Okay. Ding! Hello. Hey! Uh, I don't know if you, you probably don't remember us from last time. We were here a while back. Uh, just, you know, uh, is Maggie around? Oh, uh, Maggie, wow, no, she, <coughs> she doesn't, um, she doesn't work here anymore. No. Uh, no, you'll find her in the Civic Building across the street. She's our mayor now. Damn. Uh, nice. Good for her. It's Good a great for her, for her though. Hey, great me, for, wait, 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 wait. We still don't know if he's going <laughs> up or down. Let me, let me chime in here. Have yeah. you ever heard of a guy named Akshay? It may have been prefaced with, hey. <laughs> Why, of course, yes. Uh, what's he uh, up to these days? He, he manages this establishment. Uh, I believe he's in the cantina right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but where I'll, does I'll he sleep? You said me. On the streets? I said he went up in the world. So she yeah. sends a, a bellboy out uh, to the cantina, <clears throat> and you have a bellboy come fetch you and says, um, there's some people asking for you in the front. Ah, well, I've been summoned. Uh, what? No! You just ruined my favorite character. I'll finish, <laughs> I'll finish telling you the the story the story of how Bojangles saved the universe uh, at a later time. Oh, I, oh. to go see, uh, I need it in the front. Oh no! That's it. Okay. So I walk. I guess I walk out. Yeah. Oh. I see these. I go. Hey! 
Yeah. Hey, that's me. I'm the, I'm the guy. You guys. Hey. Whoa. The oh, only... I, I didn't think I'd see you again. Suddenly, oh, the only reason you, I'm good to see I, you. Boy, I owe you. You look different, but you look great. I owe you so much. You gave me all the art. I became a, I became a famous rich art guy. I do all the art. I got, I got an art gallery. I make so much money. You stole our art gallery. Yeah, idea. I didn't steal it, I mean, but I got it from you guys, and I, I ran with it. You gave me the art. You gave me the idea. And uh, Maggie helped me, uh, she get, helped me get on the straight and narrow. Well, you uh, straight and narrow-esque. And, uh, yeah, well, what do you, I mean, I've been making money hand over fist, and uh, I'm too much of, well, what have you guys been up to uh, the last, oh, gosh, it's been 10, 10 15 years? Uh, yeah, no, it's been great. Uh, oh, bad news, though. Ooh, Bojangles yeah. turned out to be a real shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, terrible. Awful. Uh, he's a terrible person. You don't have to talk to me about Bojangles. No, he's, everybody knows about Bojangles. It's uh, like sharp the most famous word here. Uh, Probably the most famous person in the universe. I mean, we all have yeah, he, he, Everybody's got a Bojangles story. When the hotel Infamous, guest maybe. walks by and overhears that, and he's like, I love that guy. His music's awesome. And keeps walking. <laughs> uh, okay. so look uh, what uh, you did. <laughs> look what you fucking did. You got uh, what the fuck? What happened? What happened to your eyeball? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> some shit, some shit went down. Uh, I, I understand. I, uh, I mean, don't want to talk about it. Hey, do you happen oh, to be man. evil? Me? Yeah. No. Are you sure you're I not like part infernal or I'm, anything? Oh, I didn't tell you. Are you sure about now. that? Oh, yeah. you're a monk. I, uh, Great. I you like setting any fires or? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just asking. I like, uh, you know, I like, uh, it's I a real crazy party. Hey, 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 I have a real great idea. Can someone poke him with a silver weapon? Oh, that's you like know a what? That's, that's, that's oh, right right here. A silver poke? <laughs> we, do, we have to do. We do all the time around here. Are you? Are you clean? I mean, we left you in some I mean, states. I, I bathe every day. I mean, you, you were, were like about. Oh, anything like that could go up your nose or go in your. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I, as I said, I found inner peace. Uh, sometimes I find a, a piece of fun, but uh, <laughs> yes, I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a responsible businessman. I manage this establishment. I got the art gallery. I do a lot of, uh, I, I do a lot of, uh, I work with inner school kids. You seem a lot more <laughs> hyper now. Oh, I just, I got a new lease on, 70 years young I am. Got a new lease on wow. life. Yeah, once I learned wow. the ways of the monk, and, uh, I, uh, year I learned monk. how to infuse, it's funny you should say about the alcohol, I learned to make it work for me, not against me. That's not how that works. Yeah, no, it is. I have, uh, I'm what's called a drunken master. And, okay, uh, yeah, that does exist. It, yeah, okay. uh, you are <laughs> fully on the show. The more I drink, the younger I am. It's, it's phenomenal. You look great. Four arms is working for you. I like it. Got the uh, flying leg uh, flying free, huh? The real Oregon thing you got going on there. I like it. I don't remember you right, being man. so short. You got bald. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> taller. I re- you are definitely taller. I remember you having more up top, but, it, well... Okay. It's the problem is I'm not bald. You just can't see it from what, down there. No, I yeah. can see the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, just, we're gonna leave it, you here to your business. No, you I guess we better be going. Saying, I don't want to interrupt your, you your, your. I mean, you're running this whole establishment here. here. We well, obviously way, way too busy. Way so so too busy. So busy. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna <laughs> shoot on out of here. Have fun. No, 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 we'll see you another 15 years. 15 years from now, you will come back. We'll check in periodically. Oh no, we couldn't. bot we couldn't impose on you. You want for nothing. Oh. Stay here on the house, our finest rooms. Uh, Flubel, Flubel. Flubel's, uh, Flubel. Flubel's my assistant. Uh, Flubel, <laughs> would yes. you set them up with the, the <laughs> finest rooms in the establishment, uh, whatever they want, spare no expense, put it on the Akshay tab, and, uh, and give them whatever they want, Flubel. Sir, right away, sir. Thank you, Flubel. He's, uh, Flubel will take care of you guys. All right, and then. I'm going to go back. Uh, and, uh, I was telling the story. Uh, about an old friend of yours, actually. Uh, uh, in the, in the, I, I overheard. Uh, and, uh, it was full of wrongness. Uh, I would love to see. I'd love to catch up, reminisce. I got to hear about that eye at some point. Be a real point. shame. Want to yeah, know? Want uh, to know how you got so tall? You, uh, I don't even know where to start with you and uh, what's going on there. But I mean, it's, it's fascinating. It's interesting. It looks great. Uh, so uh, stop by if you get a chance. Uh, once again, while you're in the ribcage, everything's on Akshay. I, uh, the least I could do for the thriving art business you gave me. And uh, so one of the ladies of the night walks up to you with. Uh, a small child in her arms. She's, hey, Akshay, baby, uh, <laughs> he needs some medicine. He's, he's got oh yeah, cough. baby, go get some medicine. You want you want some? <laughs> you want some Akshay? Give me some gold. There you go. Hey, there you go. Hey, thanks, like, baby. Uh, they, whatever he needs. Right. That's a <laughs> Akshay's uh, potent. <laughs> got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of little Akshay's. Got a oh geez, let's see, Akshay Junior, Akshay the Third, uh, son of Akshay, uh, uh, Akshushamu. We got uh, yeah. Ox <laughs> uh Akshay Foreman Jr. Uh, sure. Uh, this, uh, I got uh, more kids than I can count. Uh, been, uh, I've been I've uh, been busy. I've been busy. I'm trying to leave my mark in the world. More than like five. 
Uh, is that you know? I got one hand. I got this. Uh, this you my one hand. hand. What happened to the other one? Oh, uh, this I don't. Know. I got this hand. Holding a bottle. No good for counting. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is my counting hand. You know, <laughs> can't teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, seems like that'd be really inconvenient for a business owner. But all right, I make do. All right, well, it was great catching up. Love you guys to death. And uh, don't worry, I'm gonna go pour one out for our, our dearly departed. Run, Bo Jinx. Yep. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> So, hey, it was great to see you guys. Hey, yeah, I, I don't like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that so, place to stay in town? There's, there's definitely other places. I manage other stay. establishments. <laughs> <laughs> I <guess> I <laughs> this is the finest place. If it doesn't you, get better than Maggie's, but uh, I'll put you up anywhere. If you weren't <laughs> worth 200 gold pieces to me right now. Oh, God, no. 200, that's the least I could give you. All right, I'm going to hand over my 200 gold. My 100 gold. <laughs> Just one. Oh. 100 gold oh, no. to you. Thank you. Thank you. So to be I, uh, fair, uh, I, I feel like I was right and wrong. He both went up and down. I uh, no, he went up, but it took us down. Yeah. <laughs> in this moment, I have in 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 almost fifteen years, I've never felt this, but I I slightly think I like Bo Jingles. <laughs> I I would I would take him back over this guy. <laughs> and so, with the whole evil thing, all that. I mean. Yeah, we still made progress. It's still good. You know, we we, we got yeah. the quest, you know? He only it, became was, slightly was it, evil. Wasn't a hindrance? You no. Know? He hit some guys, you know? Right till the end. It's like, remember Bo Jingles? It's he like, was great. Oh, man, I'm going to... Bo Jingles, vicious mockery. That was his thing, you know? It's love like, to mock. Oh, love to mock Sometimes people. Sometimes he would <laughs> sing. Uh, uh, oh, well. I'm missing that now. <laughs> now, yeah. looking down the barrel of what our future holds for us, um, I think we should all the, make a pact. Looking down the barrel is a very good way to say I it. Think, mm. I think we should all um, discuss right now how we're going to uh, avoid ever seeing him ever again. <laughs> the upside is we have this whole little army of uh, offspring that we could probably rope in. He like, probably wouldn't want to. Just throw your kids at Yeah, yeah. just uh, there you go. So, what if, uh, what if, can I, can I come in? Remember that, that blue bull? Sure. Yeah, remember yeah, that yeah, yeah. I go, oh, oh excuse me, uh, are you, I just want to let you know your rooms are being prepared. I heard you lamenting uh, the, the music of Bo Jingles. I'd just like you to know that three nights a week here, uh, Jingles Janglers do play. Uh, it's a huge troupe, very popular. Uh, I'm sure you know a lot of people. Uh, I mean, it's it's in the, the Jangle sect. Is it like uh, that? So it's like a Jangles like band? You know what? Band? Uh, it's kind of like a cover band, kind of like a hero worship kind of <laughs> religious cult kind of thing, actually. Uh, there's a, I mean, there's no. more janglers than just you about know, you never so met I... Bo Jingles, right? <laughs> no, you... I've heard stories. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mr. Akshay, he tells me some crazy stories. Yeah, they didn't stories. meet him either. Yeah. Mr. Akshay? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about he's that. A, he's got some crazy he's stories. A different he guy. Even, he even has a Merlin that he says is 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 the real Merlin oh. that Mr. Mr. that the Mr. Bojangles wow. played. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Can he actually play it's, it? Uh, unlike Bojangles? Oh, I don't think anyone would. I don't think anyone would touch it. It's oh, priceless. Okay. <laughs> sure. It's one of the most you valuable, know. one of the most valuable pieces of of, of, uh, mm-hmm. of art in the probably, world. Probably, probably like an infernal artifact we should yeah. destroy. Yeah. <laughs> Might be. Evil. But but don't worry. So, we don't have to hear like the Janglers. They'll play all. They play the hits. Question for the party. I yeah. say to to the side. Did, did we leave hell, or is this one of those hell tricks where we thought we left hell, but we didn't leave hell? <laughs> You're like, like a double like, super yeah, hell. Like, <laughs> yeah, we this may have been living here. Somehow became Is it 15 years? Is it a day? Term. I don't know. We might be like a time loop thing, like a Groundhog's Day Well, scenario. for starters, how do we get out of this? You know what? We turn around I have and a great idea. leave. I have a great idea. That portal is a portal through space and time. Let's just go tell ourselves... To kill him. <laughs> <laughs> like, in episode, uh, wow, day one episode of our journey. What? <laughs> Part one of our journey. Oh, the, the quest. I forgot leg. we discussed yeah. that after our adventures, we'd labeled we laid it quest, out into, uh, uh, in, in weird episodic yeah. format. So when we really good way to tell a story. people with our tales, right. it made sense. Chapter one. Exactly. Bojangles sucks. Uh, it was the name of all the chapters. Yeah, but continue. After, you're, not but, gonna, yeah. you're not going to win a lot of friends around these parts saying things negative things about Bo Jingles. I'm just going to go yeah, get the rooms fine. ready. Y'all, y'all just continue about yourselves. I'll, uh, is, Flubel out. Is that so? <laughs> See you, Morty. I mean, Flubel. <laughs> He's a big fan, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, don't change the channel. That's not an option on the internet. But this episode of Heroes and Halfwits is brought to you by Blue Apron. I love Blue Apron. It makes cooking hassle-free and easy. 
I don't have to worry about finding time to go to the grocery store. Everything is delivered right to my door. Their meals are delicious and their recipes are easy to follow. For less than $10 per person per meal, Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre-portioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. Choose from a variety of new recipes each week or let Blue Apron's culinary team surprise you. I love being surprised. Recipes are not repeated within a year, so you'll never get bored. Blue Apron's freshness guarantee promises that every ingredient delivered to your house arrives ready to cook, or they'll make it right. Each meal comes with a step-by-step, easy-to-follow recipe card and pre-portioned ingredients that can be prepared in 40 minutes or less. Customize your recipes each week based on your preferences. Blue Apron has several delivery options, so you can choose what fits your needs. And there's no weekly commitment, so you only get deliveries when you want them. Check out this week's menu and get $30 off your first meal with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash halfwits. That's blueapron.com slash halfwits. Blue Apron, it's a better way to cook. Back to the adventure. I don't know what life has in store oh, for us. God, why are I we think, here? I think we found a better what a life quest. Big question. Why? We found a, <laughs> a truer and nobler cause <laughs> with our time here in Ribcage, and that is to break mm -hmm. the image of Bojangles <laughs> that has lingered on this place. It is a foul miasma. Well, but, but Bojangles was fine. He just died in the woods somewhere. Like, yeah, but that was way before they ever met him. But he was already famous when we got here. Yeah, I don't know that. So, yeah. like, actually, he was. He was. Famous, so when you first when got, got here, here uh, 15 years ago, um, people seemed to know who he was. Like, they were talking about the songs that he sang, like, quoting some of his lyrics. So Remember that, that great oldie, Kill the Mayor? Well, yeah, well, yeah, even, yeah, even, even before that, the mayor. Yeah, there was when we were like fifty <laughs> feet away from him. Yeah, yeah. that is a yeah. famous. Folk and all song the guards, that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like a wobbly, like Utah yeah. Phillips style folk song that people sing here around campfires. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna settle into my. I'm gonna check out the room. Are we ready for the room? <laughs> the room is ready. I'm gonna go. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna rest. <laughs> okay, so you guys go <laughs> to your room and uh, you you make yourselves comfortable. There there are baths and, and uh, there's a suite. So how there's many rooms? we got uh, a suite, multiple suites. Oh, you know what? You guys are actually in that executive suite that you were in uh, that yes. that was ransacked by the woman. Dick that right. yeah. to Say what you will about Akshay. Uh, I believe uh, I have uh, Bojangles lover <laughs> or whatnot. Uh, comes through on the rooms. Yeah. That's I, <laughs> yes. The rooms do exist. Yep. That's correct. Uh, I, oh, I, man. Say what you will about Bojangles. Let's, you know, credit where credit's due. Occasionally, statistically, somehow, he was good at being a performer. <laughs> I wouldn't say it translated well, but don't lie. That's a, that's a style one, thing. One, I saw at least two <laughs> ones there. <laughs> uh, a, a, real, a real smattering of... A real sampling of the Bojangles experience. Some days you get this one. Some days you get a some six. Days you get Most that days one. you get a one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so, that phrase that everybody says here. Sometimes you jingle a jangle, but sometimes the jangle jingles you. No one says that. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you right now? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that. that's that's pretty good. I, I, I got to give you credit on that one. That Thank was you. really good. <laughs> Came up with that right now. Yeah, that was that was, that was good. Better than Yakshasha move. <laughs> you didn't plan that like Yakshasha move, though. That was on the spot. Off the cuff. Oh quest? shit, it's Oxshay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, oh, so here's the, the figure for So is that what it is now? Instead of A, it's Oxshay, it's Oh shit, it's Oxshay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, the, new, sort of that's the new slogan. We should have a reversible Before shirt that we sell. Yeah. A, it's Oxshay, then you turn it inside out. Oh shit, it's Oxshay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now in the Rishi store. I mean, if we could sell a shirt, I bet it'd be Oxshay. Mm. Also, Oxshay does have a skin color. He's not metal, um, but but he's not done yet. I just yet. assume he's so old that he he, he blanched. No. 
So, um, yeah, so you guys can take baths if you wish. Sure. And, um, I would love to take a bath. I'll bath up. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll get some of that hellish grime. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, it's weird. Every uh, time we come so through this portal, I'm covered in black stuff. I'm <laughs> 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 just going to wash it all off. <laughs> really? I mean, he just did. I know. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. It was my line. Yeah. You Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if you're the one who said the line originally. Did you write the line? Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, after about an hour or so, you guys are clean now. Um, they, they, they can come in and, like, clean your clothes for you guys and wash them and whatnot and uh, clean your gear. So polish my uh, splint mail, please. And they do. They send a boy up, and <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So uh, <clears throat> at this point, um, evening is starting to fall here, um, which is again uh, we talked about this before. But the Outlands doesn't have any sun or moon or stars really. But it's just like this general like lightning and darkening of the sky at, at uh, regular periods. So it becomes it starts to get dark outside, um, and. They they uh, they tell you that uh, if you wish you can go get dinner downstairs in the cantina. Is there is there a market nearby? That's there good. is. Yeah. I'm gonna head to the market and um, I need to buy some weapons for my other hands. No. Oh. Okay. I mean I you know obviously did that over like years. These hands. But but it's time for an upgrade and everything. It's always good to see what's available. Yeah. Right. I mean what sure. they might have yeah. some nice window shopping. We have lots of money. <clears throat> Why not? Let's break up into two different groups. <laughs> shopping and we'll go shopping. <laughs> One group should go shopping on the other side of town though. Yes. yes. <laughs> After 15 like years of this, idea. you guys have probably perfected this. Uh, yeah, we've really got it down. Yeah. Uh <clears throat> you know exactly how much to bribe the random caravan driver to drive you up to the different parts. It's really lost and, its charm. It's just uh, like you know. going through the motions at this point. Oh, yeah. um so Frank, over the years, you know that young dragon horn <laughs> trophy I collected off that dragon we fought? Oh, yeah, yeah. Over the years, I whittled it into <clears throat> a dagger. Mm. But I want to find somebody to enchant it. Is that something I could do at the market? They could, yes. They could, you could find a, uh, a wizard to do that for cool. you. And then eventually I would need that wizard to tell me what kind of, I don't know, damage it could do. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like if you had to gauge. He's probably yeah. got like a, just a you guess know, like a dead you pig inflict. that you can slash a couple times and just see what the effect <laughs> then, is. Right, yeah. And if there's any benefit to it being made of, out of dragon horn, um, I feel like there should be some mystical properties already worked into So that, that was a black dragon. Mm. I'm okay so, with it because it was bad. Yeah. Oh yeah! As you're running she, around, she with was dragon pretty parts. bad, actually. Yeah. I think you don't waste any yeah. part of the dragon. No, I, it's no, fine. No. Bad she, dragon had a. Do you have to kill a dragon? You use every part. Please of it. don't cut me when, up and use part of me as a weapon. When you killed her, like How you found a, you found a contract where she had um, contracted with the uh, the gray dwarf um, to not only kill you for the bounty, but then have the option to eat you guys. So see, yeah, yeah. a yeah. bad dragon. Yeah, yeah. No, it was no good. A working dragon. A misunderstood working That's dragon. That's true. It, on, it could have been like a bounty hunter <laughs> yeah. dragon. Yeah. She was doing a job. A dragon with three kids at home that she needed to be To be support. fair, yeah. the less we think about it, the better I feel. So, right. as far as I know, a evil no, terrorizing fair. dragon. Yeah. She, she was uh, crumb populous Michelle. Sure. So, is it, is, what color is the horn then? So is it black? It's black. Oh. Um, yeah, so, so this wizard that you meet at the market it can enchant the, the uh, horn dagger, dragon horn dagger. Um, so it becomes a plus one dagger that also deals uh, an extra 1d6 acid damage whenever you hit someone with it. So plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, That's the attack bonus? Yeah. And so 1d6. Uh, plus one. And then plus you would add your normal strength modifiers and all that stuff. But okay. then the actual dagger. So normally a dagger does 1d4 damage. Okay. But this one it would be 1d4 plus a d6. Okay. So 1d4, 1d6. Yeah. Got it. And then plus one and plus your strength. Uh, anyone want to go? Uh, It'll cost you 1,500 gold pieces. To do so plus oh, nice. one and plus my strength? You know, yeah. Anyone want to go yeah. check in with Maggie and see what's been going on in six. old KG past few years? <laughs> yeah, I'll, well, I'll check yeah. it out. Yeah, we'll come. We'll see what she's up to. Sure, why else? Not? You want to do not? it? Let's do it. Let's, all right, let's go check in with Maggie. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, talk like to her. Whisper, whisper, whisper. <laughs> okay. Um, break. We're gonna go I'm, I'm, check with Maggie. I'm, 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 We're gonna say hi, go go say hi to the the see, you know, see, what, okay. see what's happening. Yeah. Um, did you give us a rundown of the town? What's up? How did you get here? Yeah. Uh, how how you Aaron? Yeah. So you guys yeah. start heading over to the Civic right. Building, which is the five story building across the street, down a ways. That was where Mayor Lindell had his original. Yeah. Uh, we almost operation. did the heist thing here, but no one. Oh, yeah. Do it. But hey, no I mean, one. It's always next time. 
Uh, and Orma, when the wizard uh, takes your order, um, he asks you, so, uh, we can we can inscribe this dagger. Would you like to have us inscribe your name on it? Yes. Okay. What's your name? Orma. Oh. Oh, Orma? Really? Uh-huh. Like, Why have you heard of me? Yeah, uh, well, you know, um, you're uh, like in the famous Bo Jingle song, Orma, my Orma, my dear sweet Orma. Let's, yeah. Are you? I'm the uh, Orma. Yeah, I was. You're the, the Orma. I was the muse of Bo Jingles. Everyone knew his favorite muse. <laughs> Wow, this is an honor. Now you've got two <laughs> characters to fucking be an asshole to us with. <laughs> We've got to oh. get out of this place. Orma, Orma. What, what was he like? Tell me everything. Uh, I will tell you, but after we'll have to have a we'll have to sit down at Maggie's. It'll I think we have to share this with the group, right? Oh, this is this is more of an experience that we do later today. Oh the moment gosh. I don't have Are time with... to get into this about what it was like to be around him. So you're with you're with the uh, the other people that were part of the Bojangles experience. Some of us are there. <laughs> oh, are there. this <laughs> lady <laughs> like <laughs> show. Well, we're not there. Well, okay, I'm gonna I will put all the orders aside. I'll work on this and get to you. Like, just give me like an hour, and and I'll, uh, okay, I'll yeah, and then I'll join you over there. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to. You mind if we get you know if I get autographs? My wife will love this. Well, yeah. Just, so we'll be at Maggie's uh, later if you want to drop by. I think yes. we'll be there. I can't tell. I can't say what my friends just are up give me yet. an hour and uh, yeah. Okay, let's. We're gonna keep that loose because I don't know. We could come up across an adventure. It's hard for us to make plans. <gasps> okay. Well, I'll I'll be there. I'll, don't call us. We'll call you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be I'll be in at Maggie's. All right. Cool. Okay. And he Everyone's scurries at off and bumping. <laughs> Fire giant. <laughs> Good <Strength> God. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of you guys go to the civic building, and um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so you're shown upstairs to uh, Maggie's office, and um, she greets you. She she's looking a little bit older, a little bit more gray in her hair these days, a few more wrinkles, but still Maggie. Maggie, lovely, lovely to Hi. see you. Hi. Wow. What has happened in this place? Oh wow. So <clears throat> since you guys were here, um, a lot, a lot. Uh, well, so. Obviously, Mayor Lindell never built that portal. Thank the gods. Um, yeah, we put a kibosh on that. Nice. In fact, love sausage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> me too. Uh, no, we, you know when? Um, gosh, I still remember that day. The uh, the the groundbreaking for the wall, and he was gonna. Anyway, so you know yeah. when um, when Bo Jingles yelled to kill him, and that fight broke out. You know, it wasn't until that moment that I realized I couldn't just. Stand by and do nothing. So um, you know, after that battle ended, um, I I was inspired by his bravery, and I, I started to uh, put together an opposition movement um, to stop Lindell. Mm. And eventually, that culminated in this uh, civil war in the town. Um, we we defeated him, though, luckily, and executed him. And uh, we like the town has experienced a boom since then. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thanks. You know, uh, have you have you been to the hotel yet? Have you seen Akshay? Oh, your, your buddy have, Akshay? Boy, have we. <laughs> boy, have we. Man, it's it's great to see him doing so well. Uh, Isn't it? He's... It oh, seems like God. a real, uh, like, uh, oh, dear. Oh uh, real, like, keystone of the, the area. It'd be real, you know, we, it'd well, be a shame if he left. He should he, really just stay there forever. <laughs> <laughs> and never, oh, well, ever leave. I mean, I, you guys I, would be lost without I, him. It, it like. seems like, yeah, he's, he's such, like the such tin an pole, anchor, man. He's, you know, the, yeah, he, the new he did kind of become the uh, the mascot of the yeah. movement. Yeah. Um, Who know, else he, will tell the good stories of yeah. Bojangles, right? As he should. Well, as, as he, he should. should. Yeah, someone needs to be there to and, do that and regale everyone for for future generations <laughs> to come yeah. of of Bojangles' <laughs> legacy here in Ribcage, nowhere else with us. Sure, yeah. But, you know, he's been doing that now for several years, and, you know, well, honestly, if it ain't broke, though. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, don't fix it. But that's the thing. I, I have to, I, you know, just between you guys, don't tell him I said this, but um, I think he's been a little uh, lost or maybe mm. struck by the wanderlust a little bit lately. Um, wow. He's, he's he should been, take a vacation. Yeah. I think so. Like you know? where he doesn't do anything? Yeah. He doesn't go on any crazy <laughs> staycation is what they call it. <laughs> yeah. It's well, no, but that's that's what I think he needs to get out of rib cage for a little while. Like, Ooh, go, that's go a bad somewhere. idea. It's, it's it's bad out there for a seventy year old man. It's uh. Well, you haven't seen him fight, so he he started learning these uh, monk uh, monastic fighting abilities from a uh, an adventurer, and wow. So he, you know, he took a 
correspondence course in thwapping. It's CrossFit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this guy was something else. I, I didn't think much of him at first. His name was Verkin. He was a uh, uh, wandering monk who came in and ran up a bunch of gambling debts at my casino, mm. actually. But, uh, you know, he turned out to be a pretty good guy overall, and he, he's, he taught... Uh, he taught Akshay everything he knew. Man, you got the that, casino that, now, too? So, that name oh, sounds yeah. strangely familiar. doing pretty familiar. well for yourself. Well, I had it before when you guys were here, but it was small time. It, yeah, now, yeah. Uh, now yeah. we've grown. Yeah. Hey, uh, is the uh, the big neck portal thing still working? How's that doing these days? Yeah, I mean. How does one use it now? Because last time we had, to, we had to we had to pink a, a mayor to get it to open. Right, Not right. that we're implying anything. No, yeah. We don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, that's why I'm hoping there's a better way to do it. You well, got like that, a button in here? Less there's, you know, well, other than blood rituals, um, you know, it just functions as a portal to Avernus. That, that's its oh. primary function. So... As we know, since we just came through it. Right. Nat- you guys naturally. came from Avernus? Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but like, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Not very pleasant. And those mosquitoes the size of your fists? Cool. Easier um, for punching. Yeah. That's true. It's it's true and you know when one's on you. Yeah. But the worst you is when you're sleeping when they're, uh, biting your blood. Yeah. <laughs> Hell of a bite. Hell of a bite. Yeah. You know? I've got a couple of couple of extra dragon stones down there. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> Sorry. It's chafes. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I bet. They get in the room at night. Uh, brutal. <laughs> um well, it, well if you go back to the hotel, ask Akshay about the uh, I'm good. Some mm-hmm. some medicines. I think they have some salves and whatnot over there. Oh, is uh, there anybody else we could yeah. ask? <laughs> It would be like whoever trained well, else is around. Yeah. 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 Where's <laughs> the guy that taught him? That sounds like a great guy. Great you know, guy. He, that's great the guy. weird thing. So, um, you know, Akshay, we, we, we recently had this huge three day festival here in the city in honor of Akshay's 70th birthday. And, uh, um, yeah, it was birthday. Three days woo! long. Incredible. That was quite a party. Wow. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was strange because Verkin left all of a sudden, just kind of mysteriously. Uh, you might want to ask Akshay about that. Convenient. About a note, we should find so. Verkin and have him join us. Yes. That sounds like a great idea. That is a he great idea. He sounds like an incredible... If he could teach Akshay, what can he do himself? Right. Why would you go for the student when you could have the teacher? The master. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is great information, man. I bet really he's younger, I'm, I'm too. I really to appreciate help. it. You guys. Uh, anything <laughs> else going on in town? How are things? Uh, you need... Uh... So, you know, there's, um, there's rumors that some uh, ancient... Crypt or something's been found somewhere on the Outlands, Spireward. But um, uh, and you know, there's been some rumblings of uh, something going on with the devils potentially. I mean, you guys were in hell. Did you hear of anything or see anything unusual? More unusual than it's pretty usual hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. typical yeah. hell. The big mosquitoes, and, uh, brimstone, mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah. bone devils, Infernal. bone devils. Yeah. Oh, I hate those things. The nipple piercings. Nasty. I thought I saw Bojangles down there, which was weird. Yeah. <laughs> I think he would have been in a much lower level. He was like yeah. screaming like uh, in a fire pit, bottom. wrapped yeah. in chains. Uh, Where, wait, so Bojangles is dead? Oh, yeah. oh tragically. Yes, yeah. he was oh. brutally No, 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 no. Tragically. Yeah. Oh, sure. Right. Yeah. It was awful. He, yeah, no, oh. it's, uh, yeah, no, he's right there next to Yakshashimu, and they were like sounding each other or something. Hmm. It, was, it was not a good time. Well, that's that's really tragic to hear. I'm sorry. Uh, we we mourn his loss. Um, well, as do I. Sure. I I'll uh, I'll make an announcement and, and we'll have a day of mourning for uh, the fallen bard. Um, yeah, I still remember Same. his performances. The whole day, huh? Else. Whole day. Oh. Three day birthday for Akshay, but one day mourning for yeah. the jingles. Mm-hmm. Kind of like that. All right. Well, let's. Uh, Let's uh, ditch Akshay and go. Find <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we already did that. He's, he's not with us, right? Hey, hang on. All right, he didn't follow. <laughs> let's go. Fireword, you say? So, uh, yeah. So, something uh, also about the Outlands too. When you're outside, you can see that there's a spire that just mm-hmm. shoots up into the sky, and there's a um, a ring like a torus that hovers over the top of the spire. Way up in the sky. So it's really just screaming, come check me out, right? Uh, big, you guys big saw it last time, too, though, and you, know, mm-hmm. you didn't check it out, so, yeah. No, really. I mean, you know. Ah, well, we saw, like, Maybe a town in a rib cage. That was pretty exciting. Yeah, we, did uh, we, we, did we, we learn how linear travel works last time we were here? I think someone tried to explain it to us. Yeah, a Stony yeah. Kill Sam did, I Yeah, think. you can't actually walk directly to it. You never get any closer. That's yeah. right, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you have to get like a horse or like car. Or like you can start to make progress, but then it takes infinitely longer I every see. the closer you get. Like you never actually reach it. But, but what if we walk backwards? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the trick. It'll confuse it. If you I don't up see on it, it and I to bump do. into it, yeah. Just right. saying, it's a thought. It is a thought. My I'll give you that. Is six. <laughs> So Maggie says, um, <laughs> after watching this little change, yeah. uh, if if you need any supplies or anything, let me know. I, I'll make our, the resources of the city available to you guys. Thank you, Maggie. We appreciate that. Sure. Good to see you again. Yeah, Glad to see everything worked out you. well here. So would you? Uh, uh, yeah. Would you have any advice of how to get to the tower? Were we interested in perhaps checking it out? What? The tower. Well, I think we have. The... Uh, there was a. She said there was also a crypt. That was Spire Ward that we might want to check oh, out. True. Spire Ward, not yeah, that. right. Yeah. So it's in that direction. Well, I think that was part of what was in that note that Verkin wrote to Akshay. So I think so. Too. We talk to him. There was a note. Oh my God, were you not listening to her? Uh, she was talking about Akshay. I, I may. Have I been can that. understand. But at that I time, understand. she was talking about Verkin. I understand though. that. That's, uh, Verkin received he, a note and then he disappeared. He he, he left note to Akshay uh, and uh, before disappearing. Shit, so he probably went after. So. Yeah. Right. So, like we'll probably. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll probably find. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably find. Vernon? We should probably we ask should Akshay what was Or in the note. we could just take the note. <laughs> well, we don't know where the note is. Akshay has it. He's not going to tell us. He's going to want to come with us. You know it. We all know it. There's no way that guy's not coming with us. Okay, here's what we do we get the information, we tell him to meet us at the edge of the city, but on the wrong day. No, on the wrong side. And the wrong side. <laughs> <sighs> yep. And <laughs> don't know. Yeah, we tell him we're leaving first thing in the morning, and we just leave now. And we tell him he's in the homecoming court. <laughs> what? What? And then we dump blood on him <laughs> when he wins. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> A little roundabout way to get because there. that worked out so well the first time that happened. Well, we're gonna leave the room. <laughs> oh, I yeah, see. No, we're, we're just gonna be gone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go. It feels. The, I feel the the weight of inevitability. Crashing down upon us, yeah. and we might as well stop That's, wasting I can, time. I can uh, feel the the ever impending gaze of Bahamut, really wanting us to talk to Akshay. Yeah, he's, and he's. I'm not happy about it, but uh, uh, canonically, it is the will of my God. You guys do love Akshay. Canonically, <laughs> I don't. No, yeah, you're right. Canonically, <laughs> you, you guys are a bit out of You guys are being real out of character. A lot of Mogar. changed in 15 years. So that's true. Mogar's the only one who's really in character. Never liked him. Here's the thing. Yeah, part. he opened his mouth about Bojangles and it was all over at that that's point. That's true. Yeah. That's... I mean, we dealt with Bojangles like these people never have. They don't know. Yeah. But I feel like... We mostly dealt with somebody in person. Again... Yeah, but he was impersonating Bojangles. I'm not even in the that's, room. I'm off on a mic. Don't talk. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go. Ask Akshay about the note from Vernus and about this Verkin. The Verkin. Yeah. Jerkin Verkin. Said Vernus. Ver, Verpin. Ver, ver whatever. W the V guy. Vorpal. Yeah. Uh, let's go ask about the note and uh, see if we need to go f do anything about this crypt of the necro dancer Maybe or whatever. Maybe he'll just die if he comes with us. That's we could do yeah. conveniently. E we got we need him. Yeah, we gotta go get him. We gotta go get him. We're gonna have to. We're gonna take his walker. He'll he's, walk himself. I mean, he's gonna have. He's like seventy, right? He's, I mean, FD was no, he wasn't seventy though. Actually, no. yeah. I wonder how he's doing now. All right. Did you see there could be a crypt of the Necrodance report on the. So screen? yeah, that's that's. Weird. Weird. Again, for the new fans or new viewers, uh, the, uh, FD is Father Dory. Um, so this might be a good time to uh, include the fact that you guys had four, uh, three companions: Father Dory, Cork, and Na. I mean, at one point. And yeah. At one point. At one point, we had about fifty. Uh, uh, we really trimmed that down. Yeah. Fortunately. The, with well, deaths. <laughs> some of them, yeah, there there were some, but for those three, uh, they they were lost during your adventures through the um, through the hells. The nine hells. So well, we just walked um, too close to a school, and Father, Father Dory wasn't allowed within a hundred feet. So there was a sign. Yeah. There was that too. And it had his a, face. It's a silhouette. With a no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> doing one of these. So, uh, so at this point, you're not sure exactly where they are. They weren't able to travel out of hell with. They're me. probably fine though. Hopefully. That's all right. So let's go talk to Akshay. Again. Who who wants to do it? Yeah. Well, let's let's, 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 let's go do it. Let's go do it. Let's go swallow this pill. Uh, let's go it's back to Maggie. So, so, <laughs> so you see the, the party come back into the hotel. Dejectedly. Hey, 
Hey, my friends, welcome back. How's it going? Did you check out Rip Cage? Lots changed since you were last here, huh? We uh, did all the spit and polish, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? I cleaned it up. It looks great. We fixed it up. It did you beautiful. spit on the whole ever. city? Yeah, it's like you shine in metal. Okay. Yeah. Spit and polish, Got they it. say. Yeah, it's an old uh, rib cage saying. Maybe you don't have it in your parts. Remind me not to use any of the silverware here. <laughs> Whoa. Uh... Hey. <laughs> so, so uh, what can I do for you, we boys? We understand Verkin has departed oh, and left you a Verkin, note. my mentor, yes. He, le- he left me a note. It said, uh, uh, it said, Dear Akshay, I have it right here. Hold on, I'll pull it up. It said, uh, Dear, Dear Akshay, uh, there is a, an, a tome of unspeakable evil has been discovered. Uh, the devils are racing for it. I must leave post haste uh, to try to uh, circumvent this evil. Uh, I would, I, I request of you, my my liege, uh, my muse, my seventy year old muse, uh, to uh, to hire a band of adventurers ah, to meet me at the tomb and, and help plund- plunder its depths, depths to. Uh, to uh, d- save the w- the world from any e- evil that might befall the devils, uh, will evil you might will you the answer devils? the call? There's a lot of stuttering in this note too. Will you, I'm not, I'm old enough, <laughs> yeah. He's still getting more. Uh, will you will you answer the call? Circle yes, no, or maybe. <laughs> I would like to circle yes. How would you? How would he know what you circle? Uh, it it's also enchanted. says uh, in parentheses, uh, please bring note back. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So uh, <laughs> take it with me, I guess. How long ago did you get this note? Uh, like two days ago. Yeah. So have you? I've been looking at it. About it? I haven't found anybody that qualifies as adventurous. And then the old Bo Jingles gang just wow. walks into the fucking. No, into no, the don't bar. call us. That's it's no, weird. No, we go <laughs> you said you didn't mention that when we came in. It is sort I was of so odd. aghast. You think, you think I was so taken aback. We were looking for adventurers, and we showed well, up. Well, I right was in the to middle. You. I, I, you're, you're totally right. Uh, I, all, all I can say is that. Uh, Sometimes the synapses they don't fire like they did when I was a young, I was a young little Akshay. Uh, I'm an older, wiser Akshay, but uh, you know, I'm a little slower. Don't see as well sometimes. Sometimes I get a little Sounds confused. Like a great monk. They call it a. They call it. You don't know where you moments. are. You can't. Oh, see. I know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in beautiful rib cage. But uh, anyway, I, uh, uh, I need fight? to assemble. I need to assemble a, a group uh, of brave, intrepid travelers uh, to head towards <sighs> oh his tomb to help to help out uh, my mentor. Uh, my mentor. I would love it if it were you. Uh, he taught me everything I know. He taught me. Uh, he but, taught me about inner peace. But you're his liege. <laughs> How I does that make sense? Well, that's what you said. That was liege. Did I? Yeah. yeah. When did I say that? In the note. That you right. you're reading the note. <laughs> you're reading. When you when you read the note and said Akshay, my liege, which is really weird. It's very strange. Because he's your mentor. Yeah. I didn't. What does that mean? When did I say? I said that? Yeah. That was. Uh, yeah, just no, moments ago. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're still holding you the piece of paper. That. It's in your hand. Right there. Yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, huh, weird. Uh, is it, was it smudge? One of those changing what? notes? I'll be honest with you. Uh, Ashley doesn't read so good. Okay. I that makes sense. a lot of it. Okay. And, uh, that close to illiteracy. I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't remember super good sometimes either. Uh, Boy, you're just, you man. Yeah, let's follow this guy. <laughs> this is the guy. <laughs> this is the guy. All right. The desert. So I'm going to circle. Akshay, we would love to say yes. I'm going to circle yes. But but we're the adventurers you hey! hired, so yeah. you're going to stay here while we go on the adventure. <laughs> And we'll take the note for you and yeah, hand it to him. There we go. Right? Is that there you gotta you run this whole establishment. How are you gonna yes. leave how are you gonna uh, leave the, the hotel? Oh, oh, gonna, yeah. f- it turns out there was a post. Oh my god, there's, a, there's something uh, in the back. I, I assume you will lead the group of travelers. Thank you. Lead. Uh, uh, I am no leader. A company. I uh, I will accompany you. There you go. Uh, listen, I don't want to get in the middle of uh, any kind of a power struggle. You uh you lot seem like you are on top of things, uh <laughs> tougher, meaner. Smarter, more arms. better, more arms, Those more nipples. Here, probably like a lot more going on since <laughs> last time I saw you. I don't want to. I don't want to get in the way of that. I just. Uh, I just want to help. Uh, I just want to help the world. Make the world a better place. So there's this. We can plunder this tomb. Is okay. that what was that was on the note, right? Plunder. I believe. Is that what I said? It was mentioned. If I plunder. said it, yeah. plunder was mentioned. By well, uh, Welcome uh, back, back, by the way. I'm glad we met up here <laughs> at the bar at the same time. Yeah, yeah. What is, I was what on the market. No, 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 no yeah. We saw as we walked in, saw you. Obviously, I mentioned it earlier. And, yeah, and at this oh. point, well, no, I'm just you notice that like, there's oh. also a, uh, a diminutive human male just sitting off, kind of like to the side, just like watching everything. I tend to attract the diminutive human males. Hi, <laughs> you guys are, are are part of the Bo Jingles gang, right? That's, That's not, not a what thing. We're That's not actually ever been a thing. Uh, but but you He's you travel. I, I pull you guys. I pull, yeah. 
I, I, pull, oh. I pull Albus aside and I'm like, hey, hey what's up? this could benefit us if we stop arguing I know. With I already thought about that. I kind of yeah. wish we hadn't said we I got dead. This, I, I got was, this dagger enchanted in an hour and he delivered it. I was totally right? going to disguise myself as Bojangles uh, and, and, and reverse, but we've already started telling people he's dead. It's a shame. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I can. Maybe do if that. we just like keep our bile down a little bit, things would work out better for us. I, yeah. Once it in this party, be fine. They're fine with well, him you, being dead. They you guys know the more shit. Well, you guys know nobody really knows what happened to to the great Bojangles. We the the rumor is that he ascended uh, into the heavens themselves to become a god. Oh, he, he <laughs> but uh, no one somewhere. has seen him walk this mortal coil in many a moon. Mm. Uh, you would know better than anyone. Oh, uh, some would say that that knowledge would be uh, priceless. Hey, you know what happened to him, Borealis, don't you? Uh, it's, it's, it's hazy. It's fuzzy. You were there in his final moments, weren't you? Yeah. You, were, you, remember? It's, it, you never you know, like, the, the, the final moment, you know? We want to keep it, uh, ambiguous. I don't know. You never know. <laughs> uh, I say we get a ghostwriter. Uh, <laughs> we've got an audience here that is just rife. Yeah, so are you saying this out loud? Oh, no, I or? pulled Alvis aside. Yeah. Okay, okay. We could really slap it. We, we could turn a nice profit on this. The tale of Bojangles. People will eat it up in this town. Okay. So do you guys want to do this? Should we do this tomb thing? Yeah. I mean, we yeah. should do the tomb. We'll do the tomb thing, thing first. You guys are thing. got a side let's business just, thing going on. Let's keep it quiet. Let's, let's keep money. it on the, the DL about uh, Bojangles being dead. Maybe he's not dead. Listen, we don't actually know that he's I mean, dead. We kind of know. We don't know. We, he's dead. Know. we, we don't know. We don't know. He, he was off <laughs> uh, in the woods, <laughs> maybe. No. Yeah, uh, Yakshashimu. Uh, we're taking the word of Yakshashimu. Come on. He's been alive, guy. He lied to us for months. Saying he could have just knocked him out. Left him in the woods. That's okay. Let's go with that. That's prop. That's, that's probably, probably what happened. happened. Now that I should, don't know what happened to him, I should add that you guys w did find out that um, the only way for that kind of shapeshifter to impersonate someone so perfectly is to drink their blood. Ah, uh, nah, that turns out. How much blood? How much blood someone has? A little bit. A lot of it. What about I mosquito? Suppose, like I mean, one devil mosquito worth. Right. You can walk that off. <laughs> Except the Yorkshires are a little bit bigger, but nah, okay. that, yeah, he said, "Come on." He said, "Bo Jingles <laughs> could be alive." You guys talk sure. a lot more than I remember. Bo Jingles I'm could sure be alive. He likes it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, like I, I, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, so. too, I don't think he's really <laughs> grasping anything we're saying. We can just kind of talk in front of him. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> well. The the little wizard is there. He's crying. Um, and he's and a wizard. Yeah. Uh, hey, he's don't worry, that, little wizard. That crafted her uh, dragon. We horse. don't he's know that he's actually dead. He could oh. be alive. Oh, thank God! In the hearts oh, and oh. minds of people everywhere. I, I'll tell you what, Dor Borbanol. Well, go Dor have, go have some whiskey on me. Free drinks on the house for you tonight. Okay. Everyone, you've you think suffered a shock. Okay. Don't worry about Woo. it. Dor Just don't put it on the Akshay tab. All right. <laughs> Is that the catchphrase? Put it on the Akshay tab. Ah, oh, they say I got a lot of catchphrases. <laughs> oh, hey, real fast, I gotta write it down. What was that guy's name again? Dor Borbanol. No, I remembered it. Although I better write that down before I forget. Door Borbal. Door <laughs> give, it, give it two Borbal. minutes. Door Borbal. <laughs> I feel like that's something you'd have like a commercial for. Uh, it's got like side effects. Like it's uh, uh, it is uh, in some parts can be uh, yeah can be used to clear up uh, uh, Crohn's like disease. Nice. Disease, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's the oh vaginal mesh. It's great. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to clear it up. Vaginal mesh. Clear it wow. up. Like just rip it out and let it yeah. prolapse. <laughs> He's one of our most promising young but wizards. Not, Dobby. Everybody, he's a, he's Dobby, a, I like lo, it. Local boy made good. Uh, everybody's proud of him. Kind of one of those, uh, like a high school hero kind of thing. Well, what do you what do you got as a nickname there? Dorbs. That's too much. Adorbs. Dorbs. Adorbs. 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 Yeah. He's, 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 he's ugly as fuck too. So but he's, he's really adorable. <laughs> His wife thinks he's a. He's married. Handsome man. Yeah, he's married. That makes sense. They're uh, so gonna actually, make a widow. When he comes back in the ring, he's like, agree. "Hey, by the way, guys, can I can I get your autographs? My wife will just be over the uh, hill with this knowledge. That I just met you guys. Like, this is amazing." She's not as over the moon. She's just over the. I was, he's, he's got <laughs> I was a really gonna say old over the wife. moon, and I realized, wait, there's no moon here in the Outlands. So. Uh, <laughs> over the hill. She's over the rim. Over the spire. There you go. She got, Thank you. She'll she be got over the spire to meet y'all. <laughs> like, uh, what was your name again? Dwarf Borbin. No, not you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Can I do like I've known him uh, since he was this high. Can I do like a divine all. sense? Is it he still that high? Guys, like evil or anything? Who the mage Dwarf or Borbinal? Dwar yeah, you sure. know what I mean. Like, yeah. make sure you, we're not like giving him our signatures for some sort of. Can blood. you hit Akshay oh, with that sure. as well? Yeah. yeah. No, I just want to make sure. I'm, I'm an open book, Akshay. Read me. I'm not me. talking to you. 
I'm just saying, can you can you hit him with that too? You just better say sorry. I'm an open book. Oh, divine <laughs> sense. Just let me just sense out the room. What if? Yeah. What, what if? What I feeling from the room here? I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe uh, an Orma doesn't remember, but she turned down uh, Akshay at one point, and he went into the bathroom to cry and got eaten by. It could have happened. Monster. Listen, I just want to listen. I'm gonna put my personal feelings aside. Not a big fan, but I want to make sure everybody here is on the up and up before we start signing shit, doing quests for people. You know, sure. I've been we've, fooled we've gotten before. In trouble. I've been yeah. fooled before in the past, and I've huh. learned. Okay, yeah. I'll say, old Akshay, he's a man, all right, but I don't know if he's man enough for uh, a powerful woman like her. I'm uh, I recognize my limitations. <laughs> you begin using divine sense, Mogar. Yes. Okay. You do not Weirdly, sense Akshay any evil or any any um, like deception. To which I go. Fine, I'll sign your thing. Sure. I'm. I'm Thanks. going. Thanks. Thanks. Oh my God, this is amazing. Thank you. Here. here. I'm, uh, I'm gonna. Parchment. Oh I'm gonna sign it as uh, my. I, I as a rogue, I have some talent in forgery. Uh, I'm gonna sign it as Borealis. Give the kid a little subtle wink, wink and just <laughs> not say anything. Okay. What? Just a little. <laughs> yeah, he's like. Hmm. Oh, okay. He's just happy to. Like a. Does it look like my signature? I'm sorry, as a Bojangles. Okay. Not Borealis. That, I was like, oh, oh, right. I, 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 what did I say, Borealis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're all I'm very confused. confused as, he's as, standing Bo right next as, to you. as Bojangles. Oh, all right. <laughs> he's like. Nice. <laughs> Such a trickster. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Can, uh, uh, I hope you take Bojangles down to Father Dory route. Can, uh, <laughs> can I actually talk to. I, I consider it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Thor Borbanal, you got your signatures. You bothered these people enough. You got your free drinks. I don't know what you're still doing at the bar. You got a family at home. You got a new wife. You better get home to her. Tell Mungo oh, you said yeah. hi. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Mr. Akshay. Yeah. Akshay, sir. And he leaves. He has a lovely, uh, just got married to a beautiful young girl named Mung. <laughs> nice. No, good, good information. Lovely wedding. Love it. Did yeah. you host it? Is that why you're telling us about it? <laughs> I, I presided over the wedding. I did, as a matter of fact. Kind of a father figure to him. He was, uh, he was in one of my, uh, 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 I call it my, my group of inner city kids. Akshay's uh, Path to Victory. Akshay's Path to Victory? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. He, uh, yeah. He was, uh, he was one of my, uh, one, of, one of the brightest stars. He's, uh, one of Akshay's dreamers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Recently revoked. Uh, we go, like, Fight things. Can we go? Can we go, guys? Can we go fight things? It's, uh, sure. We, we can this go. part of the experience. Let's. You want to go? You like, got to take the lows with the highs. <laughs> you want to go on patrol and see if we can like be the superheroes of Rip. Well, we gotta. We gotta head to the. We gotta head to the crypt. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. I mean, it's gonna I mean, take a while. Got to, but you know, I'll, let's let's go. Go. I, I have no uh, use for this bar anymore. Yes. You know, right? The tomb. Cocked. Doom. Mm. Boom. Oh. Room. Mm. Zoom. Okay, fine. Many things rhyme with doom <laughs> and tomb. Um, we should talk about stonemasonry while we while we walk. Oh, oh yeah, I used to be a stonemason. I'm, I'm, in, I'm into that stuff. Oh really? Yeah, he dwarf and all. He discovered cool. a dwarf. Well, I don't know inches. if you know this, but my magic mall, which has undergone a lot of transformations over the adventures that we've had, used to be my mason tool. I don't think I knew that. Yeah, it was my sledgehammer. I remember Back that. in the old days, that's I why I hold on that. to it forever because it keeps me tied to my roots. Interesting. <laughs> I've broken it down a lot over the years. Akshay's raising yeah, his no, hand. Yeah, Self-analyzed. I've mentioned that before. Uh, he's he's <laughs> touching the... Are y'all about to take off? Yeah, I think so. All right. Uh, yeah. What What time is it right now? Is it night? It's yeah, evening now. All right. Uh, uh, we, we, probably, we should rest. Probably rest. Like, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a chisel set? Unless, unless uh, there's, uh, oh, unless cool. there's yeah. better yeah. reason to go under the cover of night. I mean, we're all pretty well rested. Yeah. Right? I mean, it doesn't matter for me. I guess. I guess we should ask Akshay. When, do, when should we go, Akshay? Oh, like Akshay, you know, what, you know what I say? No time like the present. All right, well, let's go. It, so I, I just have the fluble. Uh, yes, sir. It's, uh, you're in charge. <gasps> I am, sir? The end is yours nice. until I get back. Old Akshay is going on in a grand adventure. Well, golly gee, Maybe Mr. My, Akshay. My final adventure. That's the person That's you put amazing. in charge. Golly ah. gee. Okay, I'm well, uh, be careful. Uh, I'll be careful. You do, uh, do me proud. I know that you'll take good care of uh, Maggie's in. Absolutely, I'm sir. Sure Maggie will be in to check on you. Oh, you know she can crack the whip. Yes, she. Yes, yeah, she can. She All really right. can. Um, She's a professional. Dog. She won't need to because I'm going to do a great <laughs> job, sir. 
Okay, and uh, keep an eye on Dora Borbonal. He's been coming in. He's been uh, he's been spending a little bit too much time in the bar. He's got a, he's got a pregnant wife at home. Yeah, uh, I think well, he's up to no pregnant. good. He's up to his responsibilities. I don't think he's up to no good, but he you know, he's, he's got like eight. He doesn't care. Well, no, yeah. he's just gonna he couldn't oh, count them. And uh, and uh, I won't have time, but uh, tell tell my boys and my girls I love them. Okay, I'll pass along. And old your da- Daddy Akshay will be home. They'll bring all kinds of fun stuff for the kids. Great, yeah. and um. Little little uh, Akshay Foreman, he's exist. got that ear infection, so just if you could leave some money for medicine, that'd be great. Consider it left. Okay. Thanks. Well, good luck. Godspeed to you, sir. Godspeed to you, Flubel. Thanks. All right, so he goes off, and uh, you guys need anything? Or you guys are good? We're ready, ready to go. go. Ready to head on out. All right. Let's quick get some favorite. supplies. Yeah. To the... Head to the crib. We gotta get some stuff, right? Uh, you know, slap together maybe a wagon. Get some things. Well, I, I we mean, don't know how long we're gonna be gone. Well, we're actually, uh, there. Has that to bring back? Well, right? we don't know how long we're gonna be gone. This is an adventure. You gotta take shit, like provisions and things. We're yeah. good. I got, I got stuff. <coughs> some stuff. One wants provisions. Come on. Well, we've, been, I've got provisions. We got I'm road food. Experience with you. Yeah, we're, we've been like, traveling huh? light for years. We just came from hell. One carry on. That's it. That's, that's all we allow in this party. And One now, carry on if you check a bag, you're fucking out. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, an opportunity to take some baggage. <laughs> we, we could, could eat Akshay if we had to. <laughs> we could. We I, really can, could. I, can, I can make food, by the way. Are you serious? Yeah. Like cook food, or you can materialize. I can materialize it. it. That's incredible. Like, endlessly, or is that like a cleric? A couple times a day. Yeah. You know, it's so there's so much that you know that I yeah. you know I rem- remember we were both paladins. Yeah, and it was like the same page. And it and was like you cheated off me all the time. I <laughs> cheated off you a little bit. You're right, uh, but I've been you know I'm on my own now. Yeah, yeah. And, you know I'm I'm spreading these wings. You know at level twenty I will. I don't have them yet, but I'm working. Yeah. I'm working towards my wing badge. You get uh, there. You're most of the way there. Not much smarter, but I'm way more determined. Exponentially now. harder. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hello, adventurers. It's time for another ad. Movement Watches was founded on the belief that style shouldn't break the bank. The watchmaker's goal is to change the way consumers think about fashion by offering high-quality, minimalistic products at revolutionary prices. With over one million watches sold to customers, this makes a million and one, in 160 plus countries around the world, wherever this show takes place is one of them, Movement Watches has solidified itself as the world's fastest growing watch company. I love my Movement Watch. It looks like it's made of gold. Like adventurer style gold. Maybe that's happened in this show. The company was started by two broke college kids that wanted to wear stylish watches, but couldn't afford them, like me. So they started their own watch company. Movement watches start at just $95. At a department store, you're looking to four to 500 bucks. That's more than my ad goblin house. Uh, Movement figured out that by selling online, they were able to cut out the middleman and retail markup providing the best possible price. Classic design, quality construction, and stylish minimalism. Over one million watches sold in over 160 countries. One million in one. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmtwatches.com slash H and H. This watch has a really clean design. You can see it's all kind of goldish and black. I've been getting compliments ever since I put it on all around the Heroes and Halfwits Kingdom. Now it's time to step up your watch game. Go to mvmtwatches.com slash H and H and you can join the movement. Join us and tell the time. All right, so uh, you guys are discussing this as you um, load up your backpacks and set on out. Adventure uh, bags packed. Yeah, and you leave the town. Um, you come. You leave at the uh, end of that main boulevard where you guys came from 15 years ago when you first entered Rib Cage, uh, and and encountered the tiefling lady that Bo Jingles a- accused of being. Is she still there? His mom. She's not still. You haven't seen her. So, <laughs> okay. uh, I'd, I'd want to apologize to her. <laughs> Maybe set her up Akshay style. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, the way this town's gone, she'd probably feel honored now. I'll play her in a couple seasons, sure. <laughs> like, the the day that Bo Jingle said I was his mom, <laughs> she's probably making she a probably, living. She probably says yeah. that she is his mother. I'm gonna whiz. Yeah, yeah I could. gonna whiz. Yeah, that could garner her some fame now. Um, okay, and yeah, and as you're leaving, um, the uh, the Bo Jingles are starting up a cover of one of Bo Jingles. Let's leave faster. Okay, so you leave. All right, so you um, begin walking out into the Outlands, and it is quite dark. Uh, the land out here is uh, like a semi-desert. There really isn't much vegetation that's bigger than like a bush at this point. No trees. Um, and you set off. So, uh, what you've learned about traveling through the Outlands is that it's important to know where you want to go to. And that will get you there faster than if you... It's like the portal. Or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like trying to like riding a horse as fast as it can possibly go will do no good, but like just walking and picturing your destination will get you there faster. So, um, the but we make our image our dream board, our group pretty mood much, board. yeah, yeah, yeah. And none of you have ever seen this tomb, and the only thing you know about it is what Verkin um, mentions in the note. Um, so it'll take you, you know, a couple days to get there. Um, but you begin walking, and eventually you find a place to camp. Um, and you rest for the evening, for the rest of that evening. Um, in the morning you set out again, and let's see. So, about late afternoon, um, or mid-afternoon, like three o'clock or so, um, you guys have entered a part of the, uh, the outlands that's a little bit hillier than it was before. It's not quite so flat here. And, um, very desolate, the wind blows, and there's this odd effect of, like, you hear voices sometimes on the wind. Um, just random voices, and you know by this point that it's these, it's the remnants of spirits of deceased people um, who've been lost, who, who were sort of like left adrift for various reasons in their lives, and when they died, rather than going to hev uh, a heaven or a hell, they have just kind of existed in this limbo here in the Outlands. And so you hear their voices calling mournfully on the wind. Um, as you cross... What are hill, they calling for? Various things like lost loves or money or um, it, when they were adventurers, like magic items that they wanted to get but died trying to achieve. Um, so <laughs> when you, when you uh, crest a hill, um, down on the other side of this hill, you come upon five devils. They are, they look like barb devils, so picture here. Barb, damn it. Which you, you have fought these kinds of creatures before. They were, um, oh, I'm sorry, not barb devils, bearded devils. Mm. So, they were, uh, should be this. Five bearded one. devils. Right, yeah. Got it. And, five, um. They have five beards. <laughs> yeah, five <laughs> of them. both. Okay. Five of them with five beards each. Twenty-five beards. Oh. Uh, so no, they, yeah, it's just five devils, and um, now, unlike the one that was in the book, these variations have wings, and they are red-skinned. So, um, as you crest the hill, they look up at your approach, and they regard you silently. Uh, how far away are they? Like, um, at this point, they are, they're about 50 feet away. They're, uh, they're devils, huh? Very clearly devils. And you guys know, you're very, you're much more intimately familiar with devils than you used to be now that you've traveled through hell. Do they speak deep? Uh, these do not. Fuck. No. Uh, Nobody most, ever speaks most deep. Most devils speak infernal. Yeah. That's their language of choice. Oh, yeah. We used yeah. to keep playing. Who's I remember person, that. We don't. Mm -hmm. And you've picked up a few words, like, you know enough to, like, um, you know, ask where the bathroom is and things like that, but you don't speak it. <laughs> what a weird question what, to ask a demon. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. feel like they would ever give you a good answer. Can, well, yeah, that's Do we, do we know how to tell him to get fucked? Oh, yeah, you could say that to him. Yep. Oh, I'll say that. Okay. All right. All right, uh, then. They growl, and um, they they <laughs> bust out falchions, and oh. they unfurl their wings. All right. Well, start we doing this? Yeah, fuck them. Uh, we're all really impressed. Do I know how to say that? Sarcastically. Uh, sarcastically. What's uh there's a little problem with you say it flying like creatures. Sarcasm, make a, make an intelligence roll. Uh D twenty and add your intelligence modifier. A whole zero. You or everybody? Fifteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did pick up that. Okay. That phrase. <laughs> I throw some sarcasm at them. <laughs> <laughs> Way to throw some shade. Alright, yeah, they are not liking that. So uh they take to the air and begin 
uh, hurling towards you with weapons drawn. Is that agreeable to everybody? I, I actually, I um, would prefer to be up in the front. Right. Oh my god. Um, you well, know you know, I, I got a fight with these guys. I'm willing to see what he's got to offer. This this could be oh, a, yeah, the turning point knowledge. for Mogar oh. because we'll what he values most is uh, combat and proficiency in battle. So this is this is where Akshay could make or break uh, there you go. Mogar's perception of him. Okay. All right. Well, Mogar we'll just thinks to himself, you know, this he yeah, eyes him yeah. up as as Akshay steps <laughs> up. Mogar's shocked, like, "Oh, you're you're going what, up front? What? All right." Borealis is we'll, all we'll, even more about war now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like kind of like a Warialis. <laughs> I'll take one too. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to walk off. He's, he's, he's yeah. going to laugh too hard on camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> take a moment, cover himself. There you go. Um, he just okay. shit, he shit his pants. He's gonna, <laughs> so, um, all right. So Albus is the first to react. They've just taken to the air. You're starting to move what, towards uh, you. What does the, uh, is it windy here? What's the environment like? <laughs> it is a little bit windy. Yeah. A little windy. Mm -hmm. uh, like. Would you say moderate or greater speed? Uh, let's see. Ten miles per hour. I'll say. Um, actually, I'll do this. I will roll d12. All right. Okay, it's a seven mile an hour wind. Okay. And it. Let's see what direction it's blowing from. Oh, forever. From that way. So coming this way. So the okay. wind is you not hit any home runs. <laughs> okay. Uh. In that case, I'm going to uh, cast Fog Cloud okay, uh, to obscure us all from view. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I assume there's not like, and we're just on like. You're at the top of a hill, but they're, they're starting to rise up to meet you. Is it, uh, is it, is there anything to hide behind? Only if just you go on the other side of the hill. Stuff, but there's stuff. Okay. Two uh, sodas? You're getting crazy so, today. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I forget. Do I have to do things in order? Can I do that and then move, or...? You can do it in any order. Okay. It's not XCOM yeah. style. So, uh, Please I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast that. It's a 20... F well, you know what? I'll cast it as a level 2 spell. So it's a, uh... 40-foot radius. Okay. Um... Does that go up? Which is pretty big. Good question. What is that? I forgot about the string. <laughs> like... That's 30, I think. Well, that's 30, so... That would be like there. Yeah. So all of that is now in, shrouded in fog. Okay. Now with that wind, it'll <coughs> blow it every every round. It'll start to move. I don't think I have. Back. I think it's centered on a point within range. Oh, okay. So I'll I'll move it so that it's it's more like centered here. Oh, okay. So that it, we got several. some time. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, and then I'm just gonna oh, wait, oh, five, fifteen. 20, and I think, yeah, uh, I'm going to attempt to hide. Okay. Because I can do that as a bonus action. Yes. So go ahead and, and roll, yeah, your stealth roll. You just threw a smoke bomb and then ran. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm, and then I'm, I'm hiding. Yeah. Uh, ooh, it's a great roll. rate, uh, but I do get plus 13 to that, so 18. Okay. Oh, uh, right. fun, man. So that is Albus. Oh, and then did you roll initiative for your sprite? You got a five. five. It's up to you. Is it still a sprite? Or maybe I never transformed it. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I mean, you were using it pretty pretty often as a sprite for the last. <laughs> if it dies, I definitely can't bring it back as a sprite. A sprite. But the question uh, okay. is, what do you? How do you feel about it being? I'm fine a with it. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine with it being a sprite. For now, it's a sprite. Then okay. it's probably. So... Yeah, I guess it's just there. All right, so it goes I did five. throw a smoke bomb and then run your crack. <laughs> okay, and then it's Akshay. All right. Akshay steals himself. <clears throat> jazz hands. A uh, jingle, jingles jazz hands. This we do it before every fight. <laughs> Akshay's ready. All right. Ha! We'll beat this out of him. <laughs> 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Oxy can move. Yes, he can. Here it comes, baby. Oxy punches. Isn't he in the All air? All right. It's, uh, it's flying. They're starting to rise up in the air. So they're like five feet off the ground at this point. Oh, so we can hit. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so Oxy is going to attack uh, with fists. Right. Fist I'm going to do, uh, yeah. First attack is uh, 
16? Um, that hits. All right, second attack is uh, 26. That definitely hits. Now I'm going to do Flurry of Blows as well. Okay. That's two more attacks. Two more. Uh, 14. Hits. And uh, tw- it hits. Okay. All right. So, uh, so that's four attacks. Fuck. Wow. Sorry, I apologize. This is the first time I'm doing this. So a d6, so it'd be 4d6. So you do, you guys do see this old man now just charging down the hill at insane speed oh, no. and just like sorry, unleashing four hits, four solid hits on so the that's eight, four on the devil. D8. That's six. Yeah, but it was the okay. stuff he did before and, and after. <laughs> uh, five is six, five is 11 plus oh. 20, 31. Wow, okay. <coughs> so that one takes 31. Yes. And because I used Flurry of Blows, that was one of my 10 billion key points. So okay. All right. Oh, yeah, so you run up and you just start pummeling the shit out of it, and it, it feels it. Does not like that. All right. <laughs> um, then it's their turn. All right, so that one's going to retaliate. It's going to try to cut your freaking head off. And try. Um, Language, jeez, that's a boy. Uh, hits AC 19. No! 19 misses. <laughs> Dang, okay. Um, then it's going to... Oh, it misses completely? Yeah, it does. Can I use uh, a little thing I like to call Tipsy Sway to redirect that melee miss into, like, one of its friends? It's not with... None of its friends are within five feet of you right now. So the so, friend has to be within five feet of me? Yes. I think that's how it works, right? I don't think so. I think it, it has to be within five feet of it. Let's look it up. Then. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. I just think the thing that attacks me has to be within five feet. Oh. Well, let's see. Uh, okay, so as a reaction, when the enemy misses with a melee attack roll, you can cause the attack to hit one creature of my choice other than the attacker that I can see within five feet of me. Okay, so it's got to be yeah, within five so feet of me. Yeah. So, <laughs> but exactly, what exactly what was being said. <laughs> Make sure. Okay. First time. It'd be cool if you could redirect an attack 15 feet away. Yeah, like yeah. totally across the battlefield. Take the guy and oh, throw his like fist a... into someone. It rolled a natural 20. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like that. Oh. Don't say yeah. 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 That's a boo. Oh, so it hits you with boo. its tail. It's so it totally missed with the swing, us. but then its tail whips around and like stings you right in the neck. Um, so, it deals... By the way, uh, 50 d6? Jesus Christ. Uh, six, <laughs> so nine points of piercing damage, and then you, you have to make a save against mm, poison. Nah, fuck no, I don't! Oh, that's uh, right. By the way, because we're in wow. fog, uh, it is God, heavily obscured. Oxy's You're right, it had disadvantage called... on that. Oxy's okay. got a little thing called purity of body. That's right, and the poison would not have well, affected Well, it was at disadvantage because of my but it's fog, also so it's got to roll again. So, yeah. so it may not have even hit you. Um, so okay. that's still a pretty high roll, let's see. So that's 23. So it yeah, would have still hit fine. you, but it didn't do 6, or it didn't do 9. It would I'll just re-roll this. He was at a disadvantage. It did instead. <laughs> you gotta say it. Wow, huh. that's funny. It actually did more damage. <laughs> <laughs> it did 10 points of piercing damage. Okay. But the poison doesn't, like, yeah, you, the poison enters your veins, you're like, eh. Te- yeah. Technically, Akshay was at a disadvantage, too, on his attack, but. Why, because of the smog? The f- smoke? Yes. Does it, it, uh, it hits both people? Does yeah. everyone? It does, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, where, So the fog is already in, up, up to there? He yeah, made it either way. Everybody's in, everybody's in the <laughs> Everyone's at disadvantage. All right. Okay. Unless you have, like, senses that are non-visual that can help no. you, but no one does yes. in this. Okay. Why did you do that? <laughs> it's just everyone's fucked. So he can back away uh, and let yeah. us know. <laughs> so okay. gonna, How long are we fucked for? Uh... Ten minutes. <laughs> well, the wind's blowing this way, so we'll be blind. A hundred turns. Well longer than they will be. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look, I didn't know what they were capable of. I thought I'd give us their flying. He doesn't flying. know his own strength. He woke up a rogue, man. I did. I'm still getting I mean, used to this. I don't know how many years so... ago. I mean, I can let it go at any time. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, uh, 14 and a half years or ago. Or an hour. Or an hour. <laughs> he says, I can let go of it any time. Or an hour. <laughs> I, mean, I can choose not to let go of it for up to an hour. Okay. All right. So you'd say the word, and also I'm not a telepath anymore. I'm but fine. say the word out loud, not in your head, Got and it. I'll okay. make you go away. So here's what they do then. So the rest of them the are going to right yes. um, get out of the fog by flying straight up. God damn it. So I think it's still 40 feet high, right? Uh, it's, it's a 40, a 40 radius. foot radius. Yeah. yeah. So, but they can move. They can fly farther than that. Um, so. They rise above the fog. 
So you guys can't really see them, but you can hear the wings flapping and yeah, and they go. All right. So but they can't see us either. They can't see you in the fog right now either. But at least they're not. But now we can't hit them on the ground. Okay. Well, they were. So that's what anyway. they do. No, I know. I'm just asking though. We can't. So just can't consider every one of these is actually 60 feet up now, straight up. Um, All right. Okay. I say we run away. Then it's Orma's turn. Okay, so I can't see anything, and can't really see in anything. the air. You, yeah, you you definitely hear them flying above you, you somewhere. I think we would have anticipated this, what with how um, well we know demons now. <laughs> well, they did have. Big I move in the direction old. of the sound. So are they just okay. straight? They're straight up this way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move. Let's see. I'll stay at. So that's forty now. Oh, yeah, I'll go to forty feet because okay. they're over us anyway, right? And then yeah. um, I'll. Pull, I'm gonna get ready. I'll get my um, crossbow, like ready. Okay, <coughs> so you can do that. Yeah. yeah, you got the crossbow bolt knocked in the thing, and it's ready to go. Yeah, and I'm got. I'm gonna use my Shiva fire arrows. In it. Oh yeah, yeah. You still have some of those. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So then oh, Mogar. Long time. I just, I, my my character sheet was such a mess uh, that it took. I was able to finally really dig them out. Right, move up yeah. thirty. Okay. Faces, just my straight. bag, just like my purse. I never find anything in my purse. Now, about how far is that one, like in front of me? He's well, up. you can't see it, but you can hear him somewhere above you and slightly in front of you. Ooh. So, am I in the fog right now? Yes, everyone's in the fog. Oh, except for the devils now, but yeah, everyone else. Ooh. Um. <gasps> so they're they're above the fog. Mm hmm So we can't see them, and they can't see us. Correct. Uh, okay, like the same thing. Already uh, a heavy crossbow bolt. Okay. Borealis. Uh. Mm. That's 30. Um. I'll. There's nothing to do. I can't see him. Thanks for that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? They couldn't see you either. Yeah, uh, not as concerned about that. <laughs> I, take, take a load off. Yeah, I'll just wait here. Okay. Yeah, a book or anything? Yeah, Sprite goes. Anything. Uh, oh. She's good. Okay. It's like the one of us that can fly, she's not going <laughs> to. Oh, you know what? That's a great idea. She's invisible. I mean, she you goes say out it loud. <laughs> 60 yeah. feet. No, it's it's saying. That's okay. that's not metagaming. I got that's Orma's like. I got in trouble for that. Orma's like man, a thought just, a thought just uh, occurred to me. He's not telepathic anymore. A thought just occurred to me. I'm telepathic to the sprite. That is true. That's she, true, but that is some metagaming the sprite, going on there. Do we have punishment? Griffin is the voice of my sprite. I don't think it's on actually. Oh, well, no, that's just. Oh, there, oh my on. god, it's Yay. getting high. Didn't I have a punishment? Yes, you did, and I, I'm glad I remembered that. It now. was that you couldn't use any spells in your next encounter. What? All right, what Orma, happened? to the metagamer. The last... Oh, it was my, it really? my fault for just saying that out loud? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like commentary, he... not his fault for deciding to use it? All right, fine. <laughs> I, but I think that that's bullshit. I got in trouble the, the same way last time. I, that's true. I yeah, said some shit out loud. I was just like, what the fuck is useful? This sprite sucks. I, I, was, I said that, right. that uh, she was the voice of the sprite. I'm not scared. I, feel like I'm not scared. That... I just think it's bullshit. I agree. Okay. <laughs> Please be something fart related. <laughs> Five push ups per meta. Well, you had one meta. That's so. easy. All right. Oh, my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> good thing, good thing it. it's all core. It's Here? not back, so you're good. Yeah, as long as I don't bend, I'll be okay. Yeah, that's a straight push up. Okay. Hang yeah. on. I don't want any internet yeah. comments about my back not being straight. No, you're good. Or you're good. not Pretty doing straight. it the right way. Break the plane. One, two, three. Halfway. Four. In the home stretch, nailed it. There you go. There you nice. go. All right. So I don't have any spells. You don't have any spells for this encounter. Yeah, but when do you use spell? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't a big deal Look, last time. At least we got it out of the way with your very first encounter. It's true. Well, <coughs> what do you what do you got left? I got nothing. I can. You got that Did you want to ready a crossbow? Yeah. No, I still don't believe in ranged attack. God damn you. That is what our downfall is. What are you Dwarf. Come what are you on, using, man. By the way, weapon wise. We got a warhammer, and I still have Dissever. Okay. Your dwarf a ranged attack is what it'll take to reach something's okay, head for you. Different. Nah, I can reach up there with my hammer. <laughs> Plonk. He's got arms. Right. Albus, it's your turn again. Okay. Uh. Well, I'm hidden already, so uh, I'm oh, so you're good. 
<laughs> me. You just head on out of here. Everyone. Uh, <laughs> it seems like the feedback I'm getting is that everybody doesn't like the fog cloud. Well, it's just hard to s- fight them. <laughs> is all. So. You can have targeted just around them, but then we couldn't have seen them. Yeah, it, it still wouldn't help. It's them. really like a runaway thing, right? Well, it was. I was. Mm-hmm. It, I wanted to allow myself to hide. You did, and I did. <laughs> and so now I'll dispel the cloud. Okay. <laughs> All right, the fog cloud instantly vanishes. Oh, is that how that works? (laughs) Alpha says. (laughs) (laughs) Every day you learn something new. It's uh, It's like uh, the first time I've ever used it. I Uh, thought it would be good for us. It uh, it seemed at the time like it might be useful, uh, and I can see its advantages. Maybe not certain situations. Maybe not this this moment. Sure. Uh, Is it a, a bonus action to dispel it? I don't, I don't, you tell me if I if I stop concentrating, that's all I have to do. I think it's probably a bonus action. Okay. D and D's brutal. Mm-hmm. Doing nothing's an action. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. I bonus quit. action. One action. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll say you still uh, have sorry, uh, attack you, action. Okay. You that's, uh, you have quitting, to wait next <laughs> quitting is is actually yeah, it's a full action, not a bonus action. You have to wait till next. Damn round, it! <laughs> you need They're to successfully the roll mm-hmm. to quit. Yeah. They're like so you're at disadvantage. So you feet up. So we need to figure out the hypotenuse of that triangle. Right, yeah. Uh, they're like, A they all come down now because the smoke's right. gone. Uh, it's true, they might. They're, it's their turn's next. How um, can I even attack? And I, all I have is like a light crossbow, so... I'm, or a, the repeating hand crossbow. What? I don't understand yet, uh, since I've, I've just, I just woke up a rogue. Can, can I move around and be hidden? Yes, you just can't... Like crouch. Is there, um, is there a movement penalty on that? There is, yeah. I know, okay, I can make it, I get an advantage on attacks. Correct. Yeah, as long as they can't detect you. So yeah, they really don't no, outline this. They don't. I have so no idea. So basically, you have to use some math here. So ba- you, <coughs> your, your travel pace is considered slow. Um, so basically, when you, there's a whole, all these rules for traveling when you're mm-hmm. covering vast distances. So when you're stealthing, you can move up to 200 feet a minute and divide that by 10 because there's 10 rounds in a minute. That means you can move 20 feet and still be hidden, basically, per okay. round. Move 20 instead of 30. Okay. Yeah. So I can make move 40 feet in a turn or 20 feet, period? Oh 20 feet God. hidden. Uh, well, unless 20... you double move, then you can do 40. Well, according to this, I guess that, that's it's 10. it's 10 then. Really? Yeah. Because if it's by doing the it's, math. It's a maximum it's... of 200 feet in a minute. Okay. So, maximum. Yeah. So I can move 20 feet. 20 feet. So basically, so 10 feet <laughs> single move or 20 feet double move. Right. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just... I guess that makes sense because you are trying to be quiet and get the drop on I your just, opponent. I just moved back kind of to where I was okay. a little bit. So all after right. all that, you're I'm like, really snuck forward to where you were. <laughs> I, 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 I leaped back and hid and now I'm creeping forward again. I'm belly, I'm belly crawling. <laughs> Thomas is like, oh, so that's how that works. Uh, yes, I'm learning more about me every day. <laughs> All right, Akshay. Hey, it's my turn. Uh, what am I looking at here? What's going on? So he is now 60 feet above you. 60 feet? They're yeah. all 60 feet in the air, but he's right above me? Yeah. Akshay is going to fire an arrow. All right. Make an attack roll. And you can do two of these. Uh, so that is 20. Okay. Hits. <gasps> what, you figure yeah, not to like... And 22. Hits. Not to go backwards, a rules lawyer. I can't move. To death I... here. Mm-hmm. Um, the, there's a lot of confusion about this okay. online. And the, the prevailing opinion I see is that the passage on 177 says that stealth is a dexterity stealth check to move stealthily. It doesn't give a maximum speed, so you still move at your full movement speed, but you have to make that check. Mm. Okay. Okay. That does make... I, I like that more for game turn, game mechanics. Yeah, and of course, I mean... It seems like there's a bunch of different ways to approach it. So. Yeah. Some people say they do, they do have, unless it's a ranger on the preferred terrain. Um, but, but if you fail your stealth check, then what happens? Then you're no longer hidden. It okay. does, and it I've, does. Also, I've also seen people say what you said, that you do, do the math and it's 10 with a 20 if you double move. So yeah. there's a bunch of different But it seems options. like you wouldn't, I th- like you're always, it should, okay, sorry. So it what should was your be damage? that you get discovered. Uh, Getting discovered is the possibility. Well, which one do we want to go with? Think. Yeah. Let's go with that other okay. interpretation. 23. Like that but it feels like it should almost be both. All right. I rolled a... Taken. I got a 23 on my stealth check. Okay. So I'll, I'll just adjust my movement. Okay. So I would say you can move up to 30 then. Uh, all right. Go. So he takes some damage. He's pretty messed up now. He's bloodied. 
30 um, per turn or per action? Per movement action. Okay. Yeah. And then you, you have to just make the stealth roll. Every, every time you move again, okay. you just make a new <laughs> stealth roll. Uh, Would you 22. have to if it's a double move? Oh, because he just kept moving? Yeah, no, no. So yeah. if you double move... Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, if you double move, it's still just one stealth roll. Either way, it was over 20 both times. Okay. I'm just setting the precedent for the future. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. But it, yeah, like, let's this say... might come up again. Yes. yes. Next turn you move again, then you would make a new stealth. Got it. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, you shoot it with twice with two arrows. Pew, it's pew. bleeding. Um, and then it's their turn. Okay. So, yeah, this guy is really hitting on you now. So, he's going hey, to hey, do... Hey, how are you doing? A dive bomb tackle. So, from 60 feet up, he just folds his wings in and dives straight at you with his horns pointed at you. So you need to make a DC 15 dexterity saving so throw. He's hitting on you and he's horny. That's what I got out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and Nothing. spend a key point. <laughs> no, I got gold. He only acknowledges okay. his jokes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, like, Wait, were you, wait, were you talking? <laughs> yeah. uh, that makes it. But, but you're not Jeff. But I still <laughs> spend the key point. Right? Yeah, yeah, you still spend it. Okay. All right. So you are able to dodge right out of the way. So on a. Okay, so yeah, so he slams into the ground um, right right where you were standing before you just sidestepped, um, and then he like does a handspring off the ground, and is back on his feet. Nimble bastard. He landed it. Fucking show oh. off. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, okay, so you don't take any damage, but that's what he does. Um, all right, so then the rest are going to go after the other members of the party. I'm so hidden. You're hidden. Oh, actually, so let's see if they perceive you. So we'll say one, two. Oh, okay, all five, I guess. So. Oh, wow. So someone got some pretty good rolls. Um, There's a lot of good rolls on there. Damn it. Let's see. So. It's because the, they had to fly up to have a better view. Got a, demon, a demon's eye yeah. view. They, they would have stayed on the ground except yeah. for that cloud of smoke. I'm loving this. But they aura. have very aura low all perception, so actually. So Look at all this free shit. None of them actually end up perceiving you. Can't be frightened. I'm wow, sneaky. Oh, well. Ten feet. That's uh, wow. ten feet, okay. These are ten feet pretty. You can't be um, right there. They don't yeah. pay attention. Is that a to good double. thing? Yeah. All right. It's like not so then, um, instead, they're going to attack. Oh boy. So this one's going to dive bomb Orma from sixty feet up. I get tried. Good luck. Yeah. So good make luck, a, brother. She's got four arms, up. dude. <laughs> a DC fifteen dexterity saving throw, please. Uh, which one's so this D20? one's going after it's her. D20. Oh, this. We're getting into it, man. This is the shit. What is that? Seven? Seven. Seven. Plus your dexterity saving throw. That's two, nine. All right, so it's going to hit you then. Um, so it succeeded. <laughs> Wait, was it DC fifteen? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Plus oh, you're. I thought you were saying you plus nine, but it's just plus two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did the math for you. Got it. You did the math. That sounds bad. <laughs> Five, eight, ten, eighteen. So, 18 points of bludgeoning and piercing damage to you. Weak. <laughs> Nothing. And you are knocked <clears throat> prone. <clears throat> oh, she was. You would also probably have had another plus two to that saving throw because you're within 10 feet of Mogar. It wouldn't, wouldn't have been it's, enough. It's also. It's only plus one for me because I have a charisma of zero. Oh, gotcha. It's plus one, plus your charisma matter. modifier. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That was the other thing you have. You had gotcha. like I had one more and then this one hand springs up and it's standing over you now. Um, okay, and then this one's gonna go. I didn't mention that. Why? You know, you, Akshay's right there, so we'll just go after Akshay. Bring it on! It's a learning curve. It didn't. We didn't get. No one was close enough. It didn't DC make it fifteen perfect. dexterity saving throw. That is a lot. I'm learning. Okay. As it swoops down on you. Akshay makes it. All right, so you get a kind of sidestep. It's there. This and Akshay wants to direct that with a tipsy swerve into the other dude. <laughs> oh, wow. Now you can do it. All yeah. right. Okay. Go for it. So, so I, don't, I don't know how to do that now. Well, uh, okay. Let's see. Tipsy sway. Hold on. Turn my phone. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, uh, buh, 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 buh. hit one could your choice other than the attacker you can see within five feet once you use this feature You can't use it again until you finish a short or long rest. That's the only time I can use it But uh, it's just it's a melee attack roll. So I guess it's whatever it rolled it Just does that Which damage doesn't, to it. So it'll just make a melee attack roll then as if it had tried to attack you with its claw or something uh, it's Pretty handy. These are pl at plus seven. whatever its attack is hits the creature of its choice. So whatever the attack was Oh, well, so then it would have been the die bomb tackle. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm so it just takes damage but if it if it did a dive bomb, 
Oh, is it? It's the one already like, on the ground. I like, yeah, I like stepped the, away and like pushed it. This in. thing yeah. is plummeting from the sky, and you're just like, ding. yeah. Oh, oh man, that's not so, bad. Uh, let's see, five. Uh, so that's eleven, fifteen, twenty-two points of damage. Nice. Wow, <laughs> against this one that's already been hit too. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Um, yeah, that guy is pretty messed up and really angry now. Ah! His friends turned on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That game. <laughs> All right. Um, and then this one's just confused, like, oh, well, in infernal, it's saying, I didn't. Sorry, bro. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> in infernal. Bro. Sorry, bro. <laughs> um, and then this one's gonna go after Mogar. Here. So DC 15 dexterity saving throw. Okay. So, hang on, this one. No. <laughs> right. I just say no, trust me. So 8, 12, 16, just do that tipsy 19, thing. 20. 20 yeah. points of bludgeoning and piercing damage. Okay, so that's uh, because of my um, heavy armor master. Uh -huh. That's uh, minus three damage. All right, 17. Is he prone? He is prone. You get knocked down. Wow. Oh, and then this guy got knocked down also <laughs> by his buddy. <laughs> All right. Seven. Um, and then. The front line has collapsed. <laughs> I'll yeah, get up. He's right in front of me. That bitch is on the ground now, right? Yeah. This one is. Well, I mean the yeah. one that oh, yeah. hit Oh, yeah, he's on the ground. No, oh, he's, he's not, on he the ground. Down. Swoop down and I just meant he's low enough, right? Oh, yeah, he's, he's like standing now. Okay. He, he hit and then like sure. hand sprung up. Uh, and this one's gonna go after Borealis, so DC 15. <clears throat> uh, Dex? Dex. Made it. All right. So it's on the ground next to you. And that's what they do. Then it's Orma's turn. Oh, you have to fuck him up. Um. So it'll take uh, 15 feet of your. Oh no, your speed now is what 40, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm going into. I'm gonna go into a rage. Okay. I'm gonna hop goes. up. So that's two actions, right? The bonus. The action. Bonus. bonus action. Yeah, and then you can take a move action to stand up, and you still have 20 feet of movement left after you stand up. Okay, but I can't attack. You can attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna hop up. Okay. And I'm gonna just fuck up. Fuck the guy. I'm gonna punch the guy. Hit with my maul. This guy that okay. attacked me. You're gonna punch him with the maul. Yeah. <laughs> Or just if I punch him in the face and hit him with the ball. Mm -hmm. All it's right. Like three Stooges, right. Uh, Hold on. This is not a roll. I'm just testing my dice to see which one's not a jerk right now. Okay. Mm. Well, it's good to you're, call ahead of time. So yeah. I wish I would have just. Hopefully, you didn't burn it. Yeah, no kidding. I feel like you burned it. <laughs> yeah. Can't trust it. Okay, so that is 18. That hits, though. That's still so, damn yeah. good. Yeah, my mall's good. And so. That attack bonus. Raving two, so that plus is six. that dude. Okay. <sighs> so eleven. Okay. Plus, um, since I'm raging, yeah, I think that's it. Hold on a second. Nice, beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so eleven points. So that's mm -hmm. with the first attack, right? Yeah, but do I have? So I have. How many attacks do I have now? You should have at least two. Yeah, okay. In fact, well, with your forearms, you can attack three times. If you if you take a move action and then attack, it's three. If you don't take any move actions that round, you can do four. Okay, so three. Three, okay. So I you mean, have two more attacks. Yeah, all right, there we go. Okay, so that is uh, 20. Okay. Ooh. Plus, what was it, plus six? Nice. So, um, 17. 17. Okay, so that's 28 total now. And then your third attack. Is that four plus so fourteen? Does that hit? That hits. Damn. That's the number you need. So uh, ten. Thirty. So thirty-eight points of damage total this round. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Very nice. Yeah. So you start pummeling that dude and uh, bloody his nose. You get him with your maul too. All right, um, so that's Orma, then it's Mogar. Uh, which dude's on the ground near me? Is there a, uh, like, besides the guy that hit me? He's definitely on the ground. Like, yeah, these two are near you, and they're both on the ground. All right, I'll get up and fucking hit that guy, right? I can move. That doesn't really cost anything, right? I'm close enough. That's just like one move action. Yeah, getting so up getting up is always half of your total movement. Okay, so that's just and then, a regular move. Yeah, just <coughs> regular right move. in front of And him. then you can um, hit him. All right. 
Uh, I'm gonna hit that guy with my moon blade. All right. I've got two attacks. It looks like a moon. Uh, that's yeah. a 30. Oh, yeah, that hits. And that's a 20, 31. Oh! Got a 19 and a fucking 20. Nice. That's two amazing rolls. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'll roll the first attack. Okay. We can even skip that and just take him off the... Which is a D8. Yeah, he's gonna get obliterated right now. That's, uh... Don't you have, like, a red puddle you can put there? One D8. <laughs> that's five. And then what do I add? I do two rolls for the 20? Yeah. Two okay. two weapon rolls. Okay, so that's five damage. Okay. And that's four. No. Oh, actually. Well, yeah, hang on. So I rolled a five, and then I forgot I have a plus three. So that's actually eight is the first one. Eight, okay. Then a seven is the second roll. Okay. Then a six for the third. Um, then I add six to all of those because I have my dueling gives plus two. So 18. 18. Okay, plus now since I have improved Divine Smite, every time I land a hit with a melee attack, I deal 1d8 of radiant damage. Wow. So that's three d8s from that. Three d8s, okay. It's three more. That's uh, Four. seven. 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 Holy shit. Wow. That's fucking incredible. And okay, let's go to Vegas, man. I'm gonna use my bonus action for my moon blade, no. which deals one D ten of radiant damage. Save it for the other okay. guy. Uh, <laughs> this is no magic spells at all either. This is just me. Turn left and hit hitting. the other guy. <laughs> just follow through. Oh, that's an eight. So another eight. Yeah. Uh, let me. Yeah, I think that's it. About 45 minutes when Frank figures that math out. <clears throat> He's not dead yet, but he Whoa. took a bunch of damage. damage. That? 68 points of damage. Suck it, nerd. Wow. That's what you get for hitting me, you piece of shit. Wow, yeah. I didn't even use Divine Smite on you, you motherfucker. That would have been like 80 <laughs> more dice, because he's infernal. So I imagine, like, Mogar was knocked to the ground initially, and then... Well, what uh, happened was, too, he saw Orma and was like, I'm jealous. Like, he just <laughs> fucked that guy up, and then he yeah. got up and was like, I can't let her show me up. You know, we have, yeah. a, we have a friendly competition. It's true. There's yeah, like a, yeah. there's like a camaraderie slash rivalry there. Where yeah. like we just get in there, we get hit, and we hit back. So nice. like watching her get up and hit that dude, Mugar's like, "Fuck this! I'm not sitting on the ground." And then so, he just went ape shit on that guy with his one eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Old and he had two solid hits in, and um, you 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 just like vivisect him. He, he's got like slashes up his. Torso. You see, maybe I carved an M in him. Yeah, <laughs> for Mogar. <laughs> I'm getting real sick after coming out of hell. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, fuck these demons. Doesn't I got doesn't, no time for you? Yeah. All right. Well, Borealis, you uh, are. Mark, up. Am I at advantage <laughs> here with uh, Albus? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll just attack with my warhammer. Oh here. wait, wait, wait. No, because you guys aren't. I can take a stab. Like if I okay, go here, yeah, then if you go there, yeah. yeah. I'll go there. We're flanking him now. Uh, so I'll just take my attack at advantage with my Warhammer. Okay. Which, that's not gonna be it. Alright, I miss. Uh, they, don't, they don't have high ACs. Uh, ten. You? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. This isn't my thing. Normally I'd be casting a spell. Yeah. Why uh, don't you? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> that's it. Okay. Um, alright, then it is, wait, oh, Albus. Oh, right. no, sorry, sorry, uh, Sprite goes first, if you want the Sprite to do anything. Uh, Albus went sh first. She's probably got nothing to do right now, I think. I'm not doing any more push-ups. <laughs> what do we do? I don't, I don't, I, we can see and everything, she's The good. mirror did its she's job. <laughs> <laughs> see, punishment works. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, I'm the one who reminded everyone of it, too. Yeah, I really oh, well. burned on that. No, she's good. Okay, she's all right. Really so then, has uh, nothing to contri contribute to this. Okay, then it's Albus's turn. Okay, uh, so you whacked this guy, right? I missed. You missed. Okay, uh, I'm gonna help you out with that one. Uh, I'm gonna sneak attack it. Oh, mm. go back. I think you need those. I do. A sneaky now, rogue attacks would be pretty rough. This is the first time I've ever hit something. <laughs> 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 okay. With a pointy with, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I just roll a d20, yeah, and then we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> what are you hitting him with? A rapier. Mm -hmm. 
and I rolled a four. Okay, That's so it's gonna be great. you add your. Oh wait, I'm, I'm an advantage. I'm advantage. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. oh God, don't get a four or less. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I was an advantage. And I rolled a one and a two. <laughs> Fucking great. Seven. Oh, there, there it is. Right, now, what would it just for my knowledge? Of what would I add to that? You should have it indicated here. Uh, well, I mean, what no. would I add to the yeah, attack normally, roll? Yeah, normally, normally you would write it here in the attack bonus, like okay. that damage from over there. But anyway, you would do your proficiency bonus, okay, plus your. You said it was a rapier. Probably. Yes, dexterity. Yes, yeah. So that be plus, so plus nine. nine. Okay, and then if nine. it's a we- magic weapon, it is, which is plus one, so plus ten. Plus ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, twenty-seven. Good enough. Seven. I'll put that in there. So twenty-seven. Yes. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Oh my god. So now you get to add all your sneak damage. Okay, so I'm gonna do one d eight plus six. So that's a seven. So thirteen. Uh, it now applies that one d four of necrotic damage if they will, because that'll be a wounding strike. And you can actually apply that now. I was it, curious. Does that take effect on the first? I think it turn? is on the first. Yeah. Yeah. It just because okay. it keeps stacking with each. Hit right, that you is he going to take ne- necrotic damage? Yes, okay. he does actually. He's not immune Two. to that one. All right. So fifteen damage. All right. Fifteen total. Fifteen. And now for the sneak attack, I need to roll sixty six. All right. This is only five. So it's three. Yep. Uh, oh, thank you. What was I? Was that fifteen? Uh, yes. Uh, He's got a one. Failed you. I watched. I watched. I only watched your die. Yeah. What so, you oh. One. <laughs> All the other ones not bad though. Not bad. Okay. Uh, so twelve, eighteen, uh, twenty-three, twenty-five. So forty damage. All right. Plus Get over here. Recur- a recurring one d four. Plus the one d four. So. Assuming I think the two was already figured in there. Yeah, it was already added in there. It's just it's going to be recurring. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All just right. the next turn, it yeah, I can stack another d4 on top of that if it doesn't get mm-hmm. rid of it. Okay, cool. Banished. All right, then it's Akshay. Hey, I'm gonna hey. kill this guy. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna shoot this guy once with my short bow. The guy on the ground. Oh okay. God! <laughs> just <laughs> I marked him. It's fucking brutal. Uh, that hits. I hope so. He's on 22. the ground. Yep, that hits. So I'm gonna do a D6 plus 2 plus 4, D6 plus 6, 7, so... Okay. Uh, that's a... Ooh, uh, 13. Oof. That's a does kill that kill shot. him? Uh, that does not, but he's very close. So I'm gonna fire another one! Alright. Boosh! Uh, that hits. You probably kill him. He's got yeah. one hit point left. Okay, so that was a... Don't roll a zero. Uh, 12 <laughs> you points You did it! Alright. So then yeah. actually is gonna be like, <laughs> And he's gonna come over to this guy, take a five foot step, and I'm gonna do flurry of blows. Oh, nice! Bonus action. So I'm gonna go. All right. Fighting, fist and feet, and that is a uh, eleven. It misses. I get two attacks though, right? Yes. Flurry blows. So that one misses, but the other one makes it. So that is a. Uh, you think he's ever gonna tell us about the monkey? <laughs> uh, we'll get into that. Are we just pretending like the monkey's not yeah, here? Yeah, get to pretend like it's not there for now. Is it in his jacket or? Uh, that is just, just nine familiar. points of damage. Against that one. Yeah, I wear my ferret on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So you just murderize this dude and then walk over and start beating on the other one. Right. Beating off the other one. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> hey, you can't beat them. Hey. It's Akshay. <laughs> you can't beat them. You know what they say? You can't beat them. Beat them off. <laughs> so that one tries to. Cut you with its falchion and hits AC 14, so nope. it misses. Uh, it's gonna try to tail sting you, and it misses. You, you're just like dodging out of the way, mm-hmm. and it's just, yeah, I can't hit you. Like Floyd Mayweather. Um, all right, then this one goes after Orma. It's gonna go. F- oh, oh, fumbles. Fumble. Critically That's fumbles. a fucking so one, you son of a that, bitch. Let's see how bad it is off balance. So, um, it, it's, it overswings and it's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're going to have an advantage on the next attack against nice. it. Uh, this one's going to go after Mogar. The Falchion. Oh! oh! Critical hit. Are you got a 20? Piece yeah. Fuck it's you. For all the shit you were talking. Yeah. It's, you got a mad. It's not going to do shit. Do right, maybe so. her? Can't tell from here. Yeah, just, oh, no, I hope I don't have to touch myself for up to 60 points of health. I love touching myself. <laughs> Lost an eye over. Especially for hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll regale the 11. tail one day. <laughs> Don't. 15 one day. points of damage. 
of slashing damage. So that's thir- uh, thir- 12. 12. 12. 12 damage. When you write your um, And then yeah. it's going to tail sting you or try to. Logar in erotic life. Yeah. <laughs> Self erotica. <It's laughs> uh, does 18 hit your right. AC? Then it's nope, an erotic life. Okay, so the tail just barely misses you. Um, you're able to block it with your shield. But yeah, it, it cuts you pretty good there. Um, you know what, though? Mogar kind of likes it. <laughs> it's like the adrenaline of combat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like scar. Yeah, yeah. Flashes across him. Oof. All right. He's got and then of health. this guy doesn't like God being surrounded, time. so he's going to try to get out of there. Can he? Let's see. He's going to. Um, he's going to try to fly above you, so he'll trigger attacks of opportunity from both of you. Okay. All right. From Borealis Ooh. and Albus. Are, yeah. are these attacks Borealis and? Advantage? What a ship name. That's a ship name. Is yeah, because you guys are yeah. still flanking it. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's cocked, right? Yeah, that's cocked. okay. We got, that's we got, uh, we got twelve or you got more. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Mm, so yeah. twenty-one or uh, Frank nineteen. Jeff. I don't know okay, one either one would hit. Okay, okay. Yeah, you do eight points oh, damage. So you All get, right, you get <laughs> that one. Borealis and more months. Okay. And then uh, you get to add your sneak damage to this. I can? Yeah, because you're still flanking him. My sneak right? damage? Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Hold Never on. mind, sorry. Let me look up how that works. Yeah, but, uh, I don't think you... I think I can still use the wounding properly. But yes. properly, though. if he's, uh... You're right, yeah, If he's yeah. flanking, he should still be able to apply sneak die. I just don't know uh, if I well, can do that. I think it has to be... Surprise, element of surprise is good. Oh, yeah. Right. But, no, no, that's I still can. That's the way it used to be in 3rd edition, was as long as you were flanking, you got sneak die. Yeah, oh, no, I can still... Yeah. Do a sneak attack. I just don't know if I can do it again. But that doesn't. Do oh, make sense as long as you have advantage on the attack roll. Yeah, as long as you have advantage. And you're using because it a says finesse like, or a ranged weapon. If they're distracted in any way, yeah. then I get the sneak attack. Okay. That's, what, that's what I used to like. But it's only rogue. once per turn, yeah. and I've already done it. Is once it per once, turn. Once per what, turn. It says once I think that's turn. just to prevent you from having multiple attacks. Yeah, but for, that's not mm. per. Once per turn isn't the same as once per battle or. It's not, it doesn't say once per round. Yeah, it's once per turn. You already had a turn. That's a new true. Turn. Yeah. So yeah, I'll allow it. Okay. Yeah. Frank allows it. Uh, so That's I did. That's all we need. That's uh, nine points of damage. Blow a whistle. And then. Uh, There's a whistle. Uh, <laughs> and the sort of wounding I can I stack a wound on top of it. That's the right. The previous wound won't add damage for this. Not correct. for this one. But he'll have two wounds <laughs> on him. Yes. The, another two. Uh, okay. What did I say? Is it nine? nine it's Eleven. Yeah. I'm not giving you my six. I don't want your six. Don't. I'm gonna please, go please. Another one from over Dude, here. I got fucking three sevens. I'm still. I still can't believe that. Mm-hmm. Twenty-one out of twenty-four. That's hell of a roll. So good. Holy shit! I didn't use a single spell. That was a little. I was at eleven. Was that right? Was that eleven? Yeah. Strong in fifteen. Oh uh, yeah, years. you're at eleven right now. Not smarter. Uh, oh, just as dumb. All you need is one. Not dumber. <laughs> Twenty-one. Yeah, you don't want too many people like you know arguing 30, about what we're gonna 34. do. Mm-hmm. Thirty-four damage. So. Do you, I get that, it that's and including I hit the eleven. That. That's including the eleven. Okay. Mm-hmm. You kill it. Yeah. Hey, hey it's Albus. Hey. hey. I hit it too. <laughs> As it goes down, <laughs> kick it, <laughs> kick it in the dick. All right, Orma. All right, I'm gonna um, go at this guy with my maul. Okay. Get him. You are get at advantage fucker. on this. Oh, that's right. Okay, seven, eight, great. Um, so 18. 18 hits. Oh, you're good. Okay, that's not great. Uh, nine. Nine points on that guy. Are you still in oh, rage, have, though? That's right. Yeah, I think rage lasts for a while. Five. So then the next one is 15. That hits. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so uh, 16. Sixteen. Last. Oh, actually, I didn't move, so I can have four attacks. Right? Yes, you can. So that's that hits. twenty-seven. Uh, five, eleven. Oof, eleven. Okay. Wait, did, how many was that? That was three. That was three. That was three. So, yeah. so this is now twelve. Does twelve hit? No, twelve misses. All right. All right. So then that is. <coughs> So you did 36 points of damage that round. And it is at... Okay, cool. It's still on its feet, but it's it's messed up. Which one did Orma attack the is one? It, is the smug look on its face gone now, at least? Yeah, that's a Oh, yeah. That's a fun, that's a clever now. All right, and then, uh, so that was, uh, yeah, so Mogar, you're next. Um, who looks more weathered of these two? Of those two... 
Because this dude's the guy that I hit <laughs> last time, right? They're both yeah. pretty fucked up. This right? one's just slightly more, so. Uh, I told him you to could, get fucked. You could flank this guy pretty easily. I could flank either one of them. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Um. Fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna move right. Shit, can I move? Here, where's this guy? Can I move in that space? You can move in this right? space, yeah. yeah. He's I'm probably gonna, still falling. I'm gonna move here. <laughs> he leaped into the I'm air and got stabbed in the ass in the square. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not flanking. Okay. Uh, Hang on. This is five. Uh, can I get these two guys within 15 feet? I guess if I go here, yes. can I cone yeah. it this way so I don't hit Orma? Yes, you can. Hit these two guys? I'm gonna use my cold breath. Mm -hmm. All right. Two guys. The 15 foot cone, that's four so they have uh, D6. Saving throws. The saving throw is DC 14. Um, and it's constitution based, I think? I don't know. Where is that? It'll say in the description for the for that dragon breath, sure, the white dragon breath. Up. I know it's 14. I don't know what it is. They probably both fail, but it depends. 32... Uh, uh, what kind of breath is it? Cold? Right. Yeah. Uh, constitution. Oh, con. con. Okay, they both fail. Nice. Alright, so that's 4d6. Alright. <coughs> Three. Four. Five. Six? Four. Ah, so close. <laughs> so, Three, is that four, 11? 16. Five. 16 to both of them. 16 to both. So that's. Is that right? Wait, is this one? Oh, like another cookie. There's, there's probably more. There's still cookies I mean, out there's there. Probably All right. The so this one, like, freezes up <laughs> and collapses. And then shatters. He's not that, that frozen. The T1000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, his heart seizes up. Um, all right. Word. You gave him palpitations. Yeah. And then it's that one mix it up. Now you know, really messed up. Not? Cold breath. Hit and, you know, it's been a while since I showed off for the kids. It's a hell of a lot stronger now. <laughs> all right. Uh, Only Borealis. those kids were here today. Gave him a real chilly nipple. Maybe uh, adults. Mm, mm. At, yeah. least, at least late teens. I'll step up here and try to. Uh, actually, I'll step over to step here. Up, that way I'm step flanking. on up. Okay. And Who's I'll around take an attack. Me? Who's around with me? My warhammer. Wait, are you flanking from? With Orma. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay. So it's uh, first it's a 13 or a 13. Which one 13 hit? <laughs> no. Damn it. I'm pretty worthless. Uh, All right. Why don't you use a spell? I will. Hey, <laughs> good one. <laughs> Sprite's turn. You almost answered. <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> yeah, she just does a little dance on the hill. She's happy. Okay. Then okay. it's Albus. Hey. Uh, okay. I'm going to move. Uh, is there a flanking position left with this guy? Mm, oh, if you went behind this him. Way. Okay. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 25. <laughs> Dude, cut him up. <laughs> cut him up. And uh, I'm going to take another swing and uh, sneak life. attack again. Yeah. What a bunch of dumbass. Uh, 17, so 27. You should that hits. Uh, roll again since you have advantage to see if you get a crit. And you did. 20! Oh! All right. G money. So saving that, that extra some, roll. Yeah, that extra. Did you sense it? Did you sense it? I knew, did you I, use I, magic? I it happen. I cast my luck. No spells. Dude. Luck yeah, is yeah, in a spell. Use the, the luck point. Use the luck point. A gust point. 10 plus 12. Because it'd be I get to add this plus six on both. Uh -huh. right. uh, hit. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Uh so 16 plus 1d4 wound. Three. So oh, 19. Taken. And then it takes it again now because it's a new yeah. turn for you. No, this is a different one. That one died. Oh, oh right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So That's we're at 19. Okay, 19. Uh, uh, go by. Nah, it's, it's all right. We've done better. So you've done better, but that guy's still probably fucking dead. Oh, okay. Well, 12, uh, 9, 21. What was that before? 19? 19. 19. So you're at 40. Yeah. So, so wait, so 19 and then how much? 21. Uh, 21. 21. Yeah, it is dead. Um, stabby, 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 yeah. stabby. Which one is it? That one over here? This, guy. Yeah, the this one. So when, it turns, it, when it turns to face Borealis, you just sneak up behind it and start stabbing the kidneys and through the spine. Oh, right in the kidders. Yeah, it just, Oof. it collapses. Um, all right, so then it's Akshay. Hey! hey. I'm going to kill this guy. <laughs> Kick his ass, Akshay. 
Uh, and is, I do. Right. Uh, and then uh, I hit him again. And uh, does 14 hit? Hits. All right. So the first two attacks, I did the. I'm doing like the. Actually, he's fucking cold, so he does like the up close. Boosh, boosh. Okay. He's coming with his gun. Wow. With his purple. And so that's turn it sideways. Oh, yeah. 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 I turn my bow to the side. It's a kill shot. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so he, he turns the bow to the side, it, the bolt falls out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, 20 points of damage. All right. And then Akshay is going to flurry those blows. All right. I was for. Blowing flurries. Yep. And yep. So Akshay hits uh, 8 and 8. Buzz, 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 buzz. buzz, buzz, buzz. Akshay does. Sneaky little bee. Uh, 20 points of damage. <laughs> Oof. All right. That's messing it up pretty badly. So, uh, it's its turn. It flies away. Yeah. Like the coward that it yeah. is. Uh, you get one attack of opportunity against it as Kill it goes. It. Uh, yeah, I hit it. All right. Go ahead and roll damage. But what is that? Probably... The melee attack? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do 11 points of damage. All right. So one last parting hit upon its back, and it flies off in the distance. A skeered, um, and then the hill, hilltop falls silent. Um, so, you begin searching the bodies, and you find a note upon one of the bodies. And we'll discover next time what that note says. Bum, bum, bum. Always leave a note.